Hello and welcome to a bonus stream from MinMax. I'm Ben Hansen. Uh, these are two old friends of mine. Emphasis on old. This is Grant, who's approaching 74. Hello. I believe. And uh, Ronnie in the corner. Hello. Hello. Welcome. We're playing The Dirge. I'm 47. <laughs> <laughs> Dirge of Servers Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 2. We're playing it as part of what we called, we announced today, the celebration of Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. Compilation of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Compilation celebration. Comp <laughs> Compilation celebration. Yeah. Right. We're going through, we're going to be recording a commentary track, Patreon exclusive uh, for Advent Children, which, Ronnie, how much do you remember from Advent Children? Um, I remember uh, Tifa kicking butt oh. in that one scene. That was a lot of, like, that was the one scene that I thought was a lot of fun. Um, and then there was one guy that would cry a lot. Or mm. his friends would say, are you going to cry? And he, and he would cry. Now, are you thinking That's of yourself all. watching the film? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys were saying that to me. <laughs> so we have a lot to cover. But uh, this is our second playthrough. If you missed the first one, it's on our YouTube channel. Uh, but we're, what, like an hour and a half into uh, this uh, this behemoth here? I think so. It sounds about right. Oh, okay. About six hours, I, I thought. But. It certainly feels that way. So we're still in calm? No, we're outside of calm. We're in we're in edge. Yeah, That's we're in right. edge. Yeah. Which is the new city that they invented mm -hmm. on the seven world map. Uh, and yes, Grant, you died last time, but we're picking up exactly where you died. Pretty close, yeah. So we're gonna watch you die again, actually, if that's Come okay on. with you. It's yeah. Not this time. I feel Damn. like a pro now. Uh Dan Fron. Sorry, Dan Fro. I'm sorry, Dan, uh, Dan, uh, Dan from an umbrella on, on Twitch. He says, um, what is Ronnie doing there? Get him off the tip. No, he says, I wonder if they'll make any new locations for the later Final Fantasy VII remake parts. Mm. You know, uh, oh gosh, you had a good question on the podcast just yeah. a little while ago about like, hey, what, I think essentially it was like, what do you think that they're going to change? Um, but then also just like gameplay wise, like how is it gonna evolve over you know the period of twenty five oh, years? From from the first game to yeah, the second part of the right. remake, yeah. Um and I'm kind of like I'm split between like how much how many liberties they take in terms of like the original story. Because there's like there's like a lot of stuff that they could incorporate now that's just kind of accepted a part of the lore. Um Zach's the most important character yeah, in the game. I, yeah, yeah, I kind of feel like they they're we're going to see more of Zach. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be a huge part of probably part two. I was thinking like, yeah. By the way, for all of like our celebration of Final Fantasy VII here at MinMax, like we're not going to go out of our way to spoil stuff, but we're going to talk about Final Fantasy VII and some things might be hinted at. If you've never played it before, just be a little bit careful, but we're not going to go yeah. out of our way to say the biggies, right? No, you know? I think yeah. there's, there's a statute of limitations and we might be past it at this point in time. I, yeah, it's going to be but, really tough to, to say like, you know, even, even saying, you know, like, Zack is a very important character. Like, that is, in and of itself, kind of a, a little bit of a spoiler. Sure. Um, I totally hear you. Uh, and I I would love to talk a little bit more about, like, like things that we should just, like, totally avoid. I think, like, the big I, I, I can think of, of a few really thing. big ones. Oh, like, yeah. You know, that's, sure. like, an obvious thing. Like, just yeah. don't yeah. go near that, you know? So do you, yeah. Do you think if they're going to flesh out Midgard to the point that they're making it essentially a full game yeah are they really going to need to add locations or just what yeah. do you think they're going to cut you know make the towns that have a population of 12 actually be like a a town i think right. i think they'll be fine yeah maybe if they're really trying to stretch things out and maybe it's like oh we used up all of our towns in act two now we need something for act three maybe they'll be like bone village is a new metropolis <laughs> sure. come on down to bone village come on come all spoiler village man jeez <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> Uh, but what I was going to say, with the structure of part two, I was thinking about it in the shower the other day. Oh, hang on. This is what you were thinking about in the shower, right? Aqua. I said, what are his nefarious plans? Okay, it's Azul. <laughs> hey, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> <Kingdom> <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I was thinking about, like, you know what would be cool is if part two, and they could do this very easily, it just opens and it's clouds past. Opens in the flashback for part oh, two. Oh. Um, like, why even include anything up until that point? It's either that or it opens with, let's walk over this town and initiate Cloud's Pass. Wah, wah, wah. I don't know. The, 
the walk is pretty good though. It's yeah, a, it's a it's a major walk. It's your first you know. time leaving the big city. I think I think the first right. one's going to end with like looking out on the horizon and then being like awful big world out there. Barrett saying, "What do we do now?" Yeah. Right. It's exactly going to be that. And then he says, "Conquer Earth." Oh uh, yeah. No, he says Marlene. And actually, I was I was thinking about seven. Because I was actually listening back to our game club discussion of Final Fantasy VII, the original, back at Game Informer. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I love... I, it's so yeah. narcissistic, but like it's the best way for me to refresh myself on Final Fantasy VII is to okay. listen to myself talk about it for five hours. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. That's well, what it feels you did like a, You did a deep dive on it, so that well, that's totally right. makes sense. Um, but in that, we talked about, and Joe was really hung up on this point, how there's like not really a larger goal for a lot of that game like the first disc and stuff is just like well we go to the next town because it's the only town we can go to there's not like that hmm. driving mission compared to like a Chrono Trigger where it's relatively early on it's like Lavos sucks we need to save these people and like that is the mission whereas 7 is just kind of like yeah we're just gonna keep rambling saving the but, planet man yeah it's, uh, but but also like yeah, they, they needed the to get away is, from like, in dire stakes I guess but right but they needed to get away from Shinra Okay, but after, just like this world government and like until one, you understand Sephiroth and like his threats. All right, quiet down. <laughs> until you understand that, and then after you leave Midgar, I think there's like yeah. this huge gap of just like like what are we doing? Just the Incredible Hulk roaming the planet. I'm just like, all right, hmm. Cosmo Canyon it is, and now what's going on over here? Oh, a big snake. Well, I would feel like I kind of feel like there are at least threads to. You, you know, push you along. I yeah. There's probably not this like, there's not that unifying factor of like, all right, this is what we gotta do. Right. Um, but there's all. I mean, there's there's always a carrot on the stick though, which is find out more about the story. Yeah. It's just it's kind of the mystery of Sephiroth and Genova. That's like the right. carrot on the stick, I guess. Yeah, yeah. but but y you know also that Cloud like just kind of wants to track down Sephiroth. Right. Oh, and Kisa, Kisa Adrian says, shut up, Ronnie. He says, in the early part of the game, they're following the, quote, black caped man, which there is an odd is. way to describe Sephiroth since he doesn't wear a cape. <laughs> is that right? Well, yeah, but well, it's hard to tell in PlayStation 1 if he's yeah. who knows? wearing a cape. Unlike PS2, where that cape, I feel you like know. I can touch it. Look at that thing. My God. It's got more than one color. <laughs> it's flowing. Um, yeah, uh, I, I do remember that the, the black caped man. And there's like uh, Turks and stuff too you got going on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's threats and there's mysteries to unfold, but it's not like we need to absolutely stop Sephiroth right now. Yeah. It's just let's follow him to understand more of what's going on, right? Yeah. Okay. Hang but on. but back to your. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. What's your. What's uh, right? Back to your uh, like original point. Uh, ben, I just. That's. Of course, that's how they're going to open up. Yeah. The second iteration, it's it, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna you're gonna play through Cloud's Pass, which is like the thing. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, like hands down. It's I just absolutely love that whole sequence. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I can't wait. The first time you see it, yeah, or the second time. Second time, so just anything. Well, you're a big fan of water towers, so yeah, I, big passion, just a passion of mine. Uh huh. Uh, like uh, how, much, how much water? Oh my gosh! David Clapp says hello. What a sweet surprise! Hey, oh, hey Dave. hello, Dave. Dave. Thank you. How's it going, buddy? Dave, tell us, tell us how it's going. He's uh, he's benching 350 pounds right now. So type, he's typing in between reps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing with your lives? <laughs> uh, for context, for wonderful people watching this, um, I'm Ben Hansen, and uh, Grant. You might know him from Min Snacks. He cooks a lot of food there. We covered this in the first one, first episode of uh, The Dirge. Uh, Ronnie, however, has no claims to fame. You know, uh, I'm just here for the fun. No, this Ronnie is uh, my best friend that originally borrowed, and I will say borrowed me uh, the copy of Final Fantasy VII that I played in sixth or seventh grade. Yeah. Sixth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And I haven't seen him since. Um, he's got, I think you've been in jail for... A decade now. Uh, 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 no, it was 12 years. But <laughs> Hey, Grant, how's this game? Um, it's all right. Uh, it's still just a little wonky, um, the aiming and the shooting. But the story, I mean, it's top notch. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> 
There he is. There's the big guy himself. That's not as well. <laughs> this, this does not bode well. This guy looks serious. Yeah. So anybody... Materia slots on his own? Oh. Oh, no. He's no. got bros? Who are these guys? Good God. Where's Azul when I need him? <laughs> Jeez. Well, that's... Is that a gun or a sword? Whatever it is, I don't like it. <laughs> Grant, do you think you would have liked this game in 2002? I've been wondering that as I've been playing. Uh, if this was just like an acceptable level of jank at the time. Yeah. I mean, it obviously didn't get like great reviews. No. Let's read GameSpot's review of it, actually. All right. Do we want to guess what it got? I want to say it's like a 6.3. I'm going to say 6.9. There he is. There's Kamari. <laughs> Get him, boy. I like that he keeps the cape on, though, so you still know it's him. He wants credit for what he's doing in Animal <laughs> Form. I like that this guy's name is just Heavily Armored Soldier. <laughs> Fear me, Heavily Armored Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> You will know me by my lack of name. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, the review was by Greg Mueller. Hello, Greg. Uh, I got a flat six. Flat six? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. He says, in no situation should you ever play this. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you... Desperate, just jonesing for Final Fantasy content. That's right. Streaming in 2020. Dirt of Summer Final Fantasy VII presents a difficult choice to Final Fantasy fans. Oh, oh no. no. Mm -hmm. How are we looking here, Grant? Uh, I think it saved right before I went in there. Oh, okay, oh, thank God. God. I would like to think at least. Oh, God. I, and I'm sorry, I said two, 2002. What was it actually? 2006. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So it says, Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII presents a difficult choice to Final Fantasy fans. On one hand, it's a generic shooter that simply doesn't measure up to the high standards for action games on the PlayStation 2. On the other hand, it's a new entry in the beloved Final Fantasy VII universe, so if you're a fan of that game, you might feel obligated to play this one, even though the story contains very little of what made the original game so great. Mm. The end result is a game that does have a few interesting and uneven, oh, and even <laughs> entertaining moments, but will ultimately leave action game fans and Final Fantasy fans feeling unfulfilled. Oh. We don't know that. That might be a typo. You might have meant fulfilled. <laughs> uh, in 2006, what was the what was the big dog PS2 action game? God of War 2. Oh. God of War 2. Yeah. Okay. All right. Big God. I'm going to turn the volume a little bit. A big one. Just th that, that's another game. God of War... I played, really liked, God of War 2, just never touched. I think it was just because 2006, we were like, uh, just knees deep in college. <laughs> you know, like it was yeah. like a weird it's depression time where, is what it's called. I think that's right. Well, yeah. I think it was also like, I didn't have my consoles with me for my first semester in college at that least. That was such a, I remember you telling me that before, that is such a bold thing to do. Yeah. And I also heard from, um, a story on Easy Allies. They had uh, where Kyle yeah. Bossman also did the same thing, where he's There's like, "I'm going to reinvent right? myself." Is that when he talked about it? Yeah, I, yeah. I think you're right. Um, and that was a that was a fun conversation. That he was just like, "I'm going to reinvent myself. I'm going to give myself a new name, which the parents didn't know about." Right. I can't remember what the the name was, but I think it was Pop Tart. Cool McGuy. It was. It was Toasty Strudes. <laughs> is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Superior Strudel. <laughs> um, but yeah, like. Uh, the you know the thought where, where you're just like I'm not gonna not gonna play any video games yeah like, where I was just like let's go World of Warcraft oh a uh, thousand <laughs> percent <Yeah. laughs> hi ho World of Warcraft <laughs> glasses be damned <laughs> C plus good enough for me <laughs> one of these will stand the test of time <laughs> I don't and see where's World of Warcraft it's still around I don't see chemistry two getting cataclysm uh. I, I don't display a, a diploma anywhere, but I do have that frame screenshot of being the top of Battlegrounds. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if, if World of Warcraft never released, like if Blizzard just weren't fans of EverQuest and stuff, yeah, 
how different would your lives be today? Oh my God, would you I'd have a, a different a GPA? <laughs> I'd, I'd have a six-figure job. <laughs> Do you think it'd have a tangible impact on your life today? Seriously. Yes, 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yes. So how, it, how can we celebrate games while at the same time talk about, like, oh, that game hurt a lot of people? <laughs> well, you know, it was, my, I, it was my fault, not theirs. Yeah. That, yeah well, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a good point. I do think, you know, like, there's, I mean, there's this discussion, and I think World of Warcraft, like, got into the realm of, like, even for um, the APA, or the American Psychiatric Association, like, I feel like that was the moment where they were just like, uh, video games, is that an addiction? Wait, wait that, a minute. What's, <laughs> so what's going on here? Yeah. And, and I feel like most, I, some amount of people from World of Warcraft were just like, yes, 1,000%, like, this... Like, I want to move on with my life. I have to delete my character that I threw a thousand hours in, but I have to delete it so I don't go back to it. I mean, mm. like, what? No. That's nutty. Yeah. As nutty as this cutscene. Mm -hmm. God, I wonder what she's been up to. Lavender. Oh, I mean, Rosso. In the original translation, it was Lavender. Right. Thank you. She looks like a legendary goon character. Yeah. By that I mean bad. <laughs> so, I'm sorry to all the Legend of fans out there. <laughs> no, that was a bad game. Hey. So well. I kind of want to go back and play it. There's a lot of defenders out there. Yeah, it's, the you know what? It, it's a tough game. Yeah. Proto <laughs> he is Solid Snake. Yes. This is yeah. all his character <laughs> is. Metal Gear? He could say that at any point in this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. We both have vampires, guns, technology, cigarettes. <laughs> Colonel, I ran into a girl named Rosso. <laughs> what do you know about her? She's unforgettable. <laughs> You sell my potions. I can't fight her right now. Have we found a store? Or how are you getting new potions? You're just finding them around. Oh, I bought my last ones from a jukebox. Great. <laughs> <laughs> just like the Fonz yeah. used to do. <laughs> Did you ever figure out what was going on with that moment? Like, yeah. Tear it up, Vincent. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hey, Ben. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Did you ever like look up like how long this game's supposed to be? That's not important. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> what have I become? <laughs> what if this game's like 45 hours long? Wow. <laughs> These are comfy chairs in the Midmax studio, right? <laughs> oh, I, I totally forgot yeah. about Vincent's limit break uh, where he looks just like that. <laughs> she does not see this coming. I'm gonna look up all of his limit breaks here, which I think I did last time. Did you guys I, I, use no. use him as a party member much? No. I did not. Um, I I was just like kind Ruby of weapon or something. Wasn't he helpful there? I'm trying to remember. I was far too much of a, a min max boy before min max was a thing. That's right. Um, I, I just had to roll with like uh, Cloud Barrett Sid, uh, just for the most high damage limit. limit yeah, breaks. yeah, yeah. It, it was it was tough to not roll with B Barrett and Sid. Mm -hmm. It just it does kind of seem like. Like, hey, I mean, the level four limit breaks, just, just give them all it's around 70,000 damage. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Yeah. I mean, High Wind and Catastrophe and Omni Slash, right. it just dominates. Yeah. Or I can have Yuffie with 9,999 damage. But yeah. she's got kind of like a spunk to her, you know? She's she having well, a good time. Right, I know. She I understand bring that. spunk. Yeah. But when you got that little uh, spoiler underwater weapon timer, spunk, mm. spunk isn't going to help the timer. That yeah. spunk does not help it <laughs> I agree. Uh, Bob Beale says, we sing in dirges tonight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Rory Steeler says, wait a minute. Uh, Dave Clapp <laughs> <laughs> says, if you could remake this game in any genre, what would you want it to be? I think the mm. only way you could remake this game and have it be satisfying is you could think you go music game. I agree. Although uh, I remember theater rhythm exists, so maybe that's not as revolutionary as I imagine. Somebody should just remake this in Dreams. Actually, I'm sure it already exists. It is much more playable. You think so? Oh, God. Something Vincent Valentine related. Oh, for of sure. course. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
Vincent Valentine, Phantom of the Opera is the game. Lucrezia. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite perished, my lady love. Yeah, it turns out all of Vincent's uh, limit breaks are really something to look at. I think wasn't there one that was like a a, a Jason sort of mock up? Uh, it's kind of like a Frankenstein thing. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Really? Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Lucrezia. Wow. Oh. And there she is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a crystal. can't forget those very fond times he had sitting in a cave. He was in love with her. Yeah, man. If, um... Oh, hang on. Talk! Why did you let this happen? Silence. That's Hoji. <laughs> you... Silence! Oh. Grant, where do you think they are right now? I think they're in the, the, the Sheen Ra mansion. I think you're right. Do you think? I mm -hmm. do. This is exactly what it's going to look like in the remake, too. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Shot for shot. <laughs> <laughs> Every pixel masterfully recreated. Yeah. <laughs> look at those fingers. You know, we'll see separation. Why? In the subtitles. Why are, they trying to, are they trying to keep them, like, mysterious? It's so weird yeah. for a, a game that's explaining stuff you should already know. Yeah. But we haven't seen that exact scene, though. Mm -mm. I guess that's true. Yeah. And you know what? I'm glad I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Remember I know a lot more about Hoji now. <laughs> Remember the time that Hojo was just hanging out on the beach in Costa del Sol? Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> I just, thought that was so great. He's like, he's, I'm on vacation. He laughs a lot and just shakes his shoulders. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his thing. He's really... He has more charm than Vincent, realistically. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. yeah. The evil torture scientist is all right in my book. <laughs> it was fun. At least he could enjoy a beach. I don't think Vincent's capable of that. No, I don't like the beach. <laughs> Sand in my boots. Sand in my cape. <laughs> I have to wash my cape. <laughs> it's, already, it's already tattered, too. <laughs> it's a private washing machine. <laughs> How uh, long have you guys collectively spent kicking the soccer ball with the kids in Costa del Sol? About 112 hours. Yeah, yeah. I think... Uh, on my deathbed, that's going to be all I see when <laughs> my life flashes before my eyes. I'm say, I love you, Dad, and that's what you're going to be thinking about. For me, it's just... And the cats and the cats. I guess for me, then, it's just dancing around Azeroth around the mailbox. <laughs> yeah, jumping. Hold on. I'll release you. Shalua. Who's this fancy character? Why is she winking the whole time? It's a PS2 glitch. I carried you back here from Ed. <laughs> Why did she have clothes on? collapse during your fight with Deep Crown. It seems like the beast inside you went a little wild back there. Weird. This happened often? Went wild? Do you mean chaos? <laughs> she has a very Riku look to her. Mm -hmm. Your body mm -hmm. harbors the chaos mm -hmm. gene? So that explains your relationship with Dr. Lucrezia Crescent. <laughs> Were you the product of one of her experiments? Lucrezia's experiments. <laughs> We're gonna need one more take there, Vincent. <laughs> no. Apologize. Oh, 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't know. Well, we need this character to have a little more personality. What can we do? <laughs> I don't know, just super glue one of her eyes shut? <laughs> Hang on, is Vincent oriented uh, person, place, and time? Uh, in her research thesis, The Planet's Pulse, she refers to chaos as one of the sentient xenoforms residing among us. However, the theories that she presented in her work were so abstract and complex <laughs> that no one could even... <laughs> is he looking at her picture? <laughs> <laughs> so many chat comparing him to Tommy Wiseau. Are you alright? Yeah. Good job, Nick. <laughs> see that thesis? You can't see the screen. Unfortunately, no. On top of being oh obscure, God. it was never even submitted to the Shinra database. All I know is what I saw while going through the company's archives. Vincent. Have you recovered already? Where do you think that trope comes from? Of is it just Star Wars? Of we'll mm. put you in a tank of liquid and you'll be all healed? Because mm. like Dragon Ball loves it. I mean, how many people in real life have been healed by being submerged in just a tube for a while? <laughs> a couple of people have died that way. But, uh, <laughs> uh, good question. Star Wars. Yeah. Ah. This is uh, some sort of Xenosaga character, I believe. Well, that's actually Selfie. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. What is the status of our keeper? His location remains unchanged since the confrontation. So this was the blue we guy in the weird tank the thing? WRO headquarters. <laughs> Good. Two birds with one stone. That's right, boss. <laughs> she can't really even see that screen. That's a bad <laughs> angle. Well, now she can. Cool lighting for PS2, though. I bet they were proud of that. Yeah. Dragon Ball. Or Materia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Try Materia. He doesn't know. <laughs> oh, hell, guys. Oh, and we all know <laughs> Orange Materia is... I don't it doesn't know. exist. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yellow is? Yeah. Yellow, yeah. 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 It's the... Most utilized yellow ones, right? Oh, sweet enemy skill. Oh. Command. Rosso, I guess there was the two times, four times that, that was yellow. Oh, what? yeah, you're right. That was. Yeah. Is the key to controlling Omega. Yeah. So that must have been the proto materia then, right? Any ideas? I hope so. <laughs> oh my god. Soul rot of Terra corrupt. Quelling impurity, purging the stream. Hmm. To beckon forth an ultimate fate. Behold, mighty chaos. Why do you suppose they didn't borrow any music the from squire to the lofty heaven. actual Final Fantasy VII? Where'd you? Well, why? You from Dr. Chart a new path, man. Pff, I want the Fred, feels, man. Give me the nostalgia. They're not interested in giving any feels. I all right. Saw a fragment of the document. However, chaos, omega, and especially if you're in calm, just you know, put, yeah. little, put a little calm theme on. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole new world. All seem to be connected to Dr. Crescent in some way. There's no other explanation. We've had more story to tonight than we did last time mm -hmm. combined. What now? I think we're also being better about shutting up and watching it, to be fair. <laughs> oh, Yellow S also had all, says F. Oh. Bobby. Uh, yeah. that, that is incorrect. Yellow was, or all was uh, blue. Okay. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. So, S. Bobby, um, Ronnie's message is F you, F. Bobby, I believe. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take my answer off the air. <laughs> Damn. Um, just, just based on the, the short demo, yeah. it kind of seems like there's more of an emphasis on, on magic than there was back in the original. Because mm. I... Solely focused on on physical attack in the right, in but, the original. but yeah, and I remember you telling me that before, Grant, which is that's just like the smart way of playing. But I bet you like most people actually use magic. Think so? I mean, I did. I mostly maybe just for the the show of it. it was, I think it's, it's also fun. a matter of like the part that you're playing in the remake demo. It's like it's in the beginning, and it's also a little bit more challenging than you'd expect for the beginning. So sure. it's like, okay, yeah, you're it trying to make was. the most of it. So, okay, let's try and use electricity on the robot boss, stuff like that. 
Um, I think I might have been broken even as a kid, uh, <laughs> where I didn't want to watch the uh, the super long attack animations. I just want to get right through that sucker. You're killing me. <laughs> killing me. Night to the round, no interest? Ooh, not really. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that one. Not unless it was absolutely necessary. Yeah. Uh, it was still kind of fun. I mean, fun to watch. I mean, Omni Slash was like the greatest thing ever, though, right? In its context, it, you know. St- Even outside, no, 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 no. Even outside of context, like when you actually have it. Speed that sucker <laughs> up. You Kill just want it to be one quick hit. What? Yeah. It couldn't be. And Kill then they, they all say, wow, I felt like I was hit a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> but the enemies would say that every time. Yes. Oh, not again. <laughs> One thousand times. <laughs> oh, uh, Hamauzu made the music for The Dirge, uh, and he's working on the Final Fantasy VII remake, and he worked on Super Smash Bros. as well. All right. Oh, fun. Assume okay. for the Seven collaboration stuff there, but that's sweet. Yeah, because Seven's remake has, like, three composers, I believe. Let me know if this is too loud, by the way. Or let me know if you want me to turn this game off. Uh, anything, <laughs> uh, chat, we're, we're down for it. I, I would like the game to shut up. <laughs> You're only uh, welcome to turn around. That's the best we <laughs> can do for you. Uh, by the way, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, Ian Clark, Dr. Big, uh, Puppy Palooza, Alan Smithy. We got Puppy Palooza up in here? Oh, yeah. Alan Roll Smithy pop. says, is this turning into the first game that Min Max will finish? Well, uh, let's see. Do we finish Got a Gym in that stream? No. Okay. Not even close. Then maybe. There has to be one stream that we finished. Oh, I guess the Dreams story. Well, Chrono... Chrono Trigger. Well, but we didn't stream it. That's no. true. That's yeah. right. the deepest dive. By the way, somebody in here, uh, Brandon Duncan on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in here, Brandon. He said, a Chrono Cross deep dive, please. I would. Oh, my God. I would love that. I would I would love that. Well, based on the fact that you made about an hour into Chrono Trigger <laughs> and then, I believe, wet your pants. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Chrono Trigger isn't a very good game. So. <laughs> oh, you better take I'm kidding. Back. I'm kidding. Jesus Christ. Oh God, I'm kidding. I'm going to shatter your watch like we're in a hook. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would love to do Chrono Cross uh, at some point down the road. Actually, like, we, um, I was planning on maybe doing a bonus Deepest Dive covering uh, Radical Dreamers, which is like the bizarre sequel to Chrono Trigger that they eventually kind of reworked and turned into Chrono Cross. Yeah, it really, like, it's a oh. view. It's like a visual novel. Oh, interesting. But then I was like oh, okay. looking at it, it's like, it is the Chrono Cross story in a lot of ways. So it's like, it seems like it's a, it'd be a better companion piece if we ever did a Chrono Cross Deepest right. Dive, which I, I would love to do at some point. I have so much nostalgia for that game, but I have no idea how that game would hold up. Chrono yeah. Trigger holds up like a fucking dream, but... Right, 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 right. I actually, the first time that I played uh, Chrono Trigger was, it was probably about like eight years ago. Um, and it was at the, uh, the, uh, the behest of my roommate at the time, uh, Chris Bucks, who... Uh, he's like, this is by far my favorite game, play it. And I, I was always just kind of ambivalent to, to play it. And then I did, and it was just like, oh, yeah, this is one of the greatest games ever made. Yeah. yeah. Never played it. What? Sorry, really? Man. No. Battle uh, animations took too long? That's got to be it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't I couldn't keep up with the... Um, the pace of your deepest dive either, either. Oh, really? Well, that archive's there if you're supporting us on Patreon. Um, it was oh, when, yeah, that's a good point. It was when you gave the extension on the second one, I realized I should have started it, you know? Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. That's it was, all right. It was too late. Quentin Cluck on uh, YouTube says, I've been playing through Crisis Score and was planning on playing this next, but uh, I think I may not. What? <laughs> Well, what well, do you mean? That's <laughs> because we have Grant here to play it for you, Quentin yeah. Luck. <laughs> this is honestly this is the best way to play this game. Oops. Actually. Hang on. I thought I was hearing hints of Final Fantasy VII music as an undercurrent in this music, but alright, maybe not. Uh, Dr. Big says, Do you miss the comfort of your beard, Ben? Yeah, hundred percent. It's uh it's not too cold in Minnesota anymore, but it is shocking to go outside without a beard. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's a temperature on my face for the first time in years. Uh who said that? Dr. Big. Well, well, Dr. Big, uh, when I got here um, earlier today, I had to just, like, adjust for about a half hour of seeing Ben's face. Yeah, I you still just grabbed don't... my head and just stared into my eyes. I still don't like it. I don't like it either, yeah. and I'm stuck with it for... I know you say it won't take that long, Grant, but <laughs> yeah. to get yeah. back to the baseline beard, I mean, that's like a... That's a five-month, four-month process. No, right? it's not. Is my it? hair grows so slow. Not even oh. close. Want to bet? Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know your face better than you do. Yeah. I text you a picture of my face every day. <laughs> Please do, sir. It'd be like seven days. Although you do text me a picture of your face every day on YouTube when I oh, see your sweet true. smiling faces. Oh, that's yeah. Sweet. And the Instagram where I'm out of things to take pictures of. So it's like, oh, here's another <laughs> selfie of me <laughs> acting Ooh, over the top. Something uh -oh. surprised me. I'm clicking in ways you wouldn't imagine today. <laughs> No, I love our Instagram feed. It's very fun. I got to scare uh, Jeff on the other day. Oh, fun. Where I was hiding uh, downstairs, and when he came around, I jumped out and yelled his name, and believe it or not, he freaked out like a little baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why the stream started late? Just pooped his pants? Yeah. <laughs> guys, don't start to poop, to poop, guys. I don't know what to do. Jeff, it's fine. We have to like sit him down. Like no they one can't, can tell. They can't smell you on <laughs> They like, can tell. They'll we'll, tell from my face. We'll get a new chair. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> no, no. You're not gonna show the chair. No, we're not gonna show the chair, Jeff. You will show the chair. We're actually auctioning off the chair. Uh, if you want. It. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good God. So, uh, yeah, that's Jeff. Yep. Notorious <laughs> sniveling coward. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I look forward to our next uh, tabletop stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Adam Howard says, thank you so much for the consideration in the thumbnail theme on YouTube. I don't know why so many creators got away from that. It makes it easy to find you. Oh, the consistent. Yeah, I actually, it's, um. this is so specific. This is more of a MinFax question, which is kind of a min max deep dive, but the... YouTube thumbnail, it's like, ah, what does this fit under? How do we shape this going forward? There's a lot of dumb considerations there. Hmm. Uh, so let me know what you like and don't like. Um, Ooh, there we go. I really like the puzzle of the arrows at the top of the Patreon I, page. I oh, love oh, that. Yeah, that's really yeah, nice. Jeff Wiggins. That was a very last second thing. Nailed it. Man. Just like her, huh? Yeah. So, Saluha? <laughs> Squalia. Sahalanthropus, uh, I think your name is. <laughs> Uh, Grant came up with a video game spelling bee, which we had at our first ever Min Max panel. It was super fun to watch. I, oh, I, I, that was so much fun. Grant, that is the greatest freaking idea. It is a brilliant ever. idea. Thank also, you. we only so use good. like half the words, so we could do it again at some point in the future. Oh, yeah. I, it took you guys like, four, it seems like it took like 45 minutes to have like 150 words on that Slack. It was incredible. Well, yeah. There's a I lot mean, was, that I added was, on my own, too. Like, I yeah. literally, the way I, was trying to prompt more words for myself as I went and just uh, looked at like Game Informer's list of top 300 games of all time. Mm -hmm. I just went from the top and I was like, let me think of words in that game that are funky right. to spell. Um, we're going to release that for Patreon supporters in the exclusive audio feed for $5 supporters uh, next week. Because next week's going to be a little bit drier because I'll be in San Francisco uh, guesting a lot of podcasts and stuff, which will be really fun. And so oh, cool. I think probably Wednesday of next week we'll release that spelling bee, but it's super fun. Uh, what podcast are you going to be uh, guesting on? Mm, on uh, well, <laughs> so Wednesday I'm going to be on Kind of Funny Daily with Greg Miller. Um, okay. And then, hang on. What else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's plenty more. There's plenty more. Um, and then it's like a little bit ambiguous where it, I think I'm probably going to be on US Gamers podcast, Acts of the Blood God. They have an RPG podcast. And we're going to be talking about the compilation of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, fun. Okay. Um, and then I was going to do something at GameSpot, but they might be closing their office because of the coronavirus. So that's oh, up in the air. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And then hopefully doing something with Daniel Dwyer at NoClip, too. So. Man, I have gotten an email from everybody in the world that I'm subscribed to about coronavirus death. Yeah. It's, it's just wild. It is, what it do you is mean? absolutely like, wild. Like, what type of subscriptions? Uh, like uh, today, I got one from REI, Vertical Endeavors, Target. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Multiple representatives. It's like, I get it. Yeah, it's yeah. out there, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, for my job, just every every place that I went to today, like I'd be back into the uh, the front desk, and they'd be like, "Have you have you traveled in the last fifteen days? Do you have you washed your hands? Cold recently? or flu-like symptoms? Yeah. Um, what is the smell of poop <laughs> uh, coming from? You? It seems to be emanating off you. How much you get paid to spread the coronavirus? By the way. <laughs> Uh, two thousand dollars a week. It's <laughs> lucrative, right now. Honestly, lucrative. So I'm back in Minnesota. <laughs> so here it comes. <laughs> if I could somehow give it to you through the stream, I'd be happy to do it. Get a lot of time to work off, guys. A lot of time to work. 
I got it. Love the WRL. Getting it done. <laughs> WHO? No, the WRO in the game. That's what the lady was from. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're continuing the very logical thread of WHO. <laughs> Grant, did you want to run up and kiss that person first before you're done? <laughs> Jesus, was, I have dinner first. Dirty dogs around the corner. I was trying, trying dirty to get dogs. away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Your time. Oh, what is this Donkey Kong all of a sudden? Yeah. By the way, one time in my life, I want to see a barrel <laughs> barreling down the stairs. I want to see. You're that. like going up to an office for a job interview, <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> I'd like. Oh, to he dodged can... it. He's sorry. I think we can make that happen. Yeah, we'll surprise <laughs> you. I was a. Uh, I wrote down. I have a list of notes in my phone for like good presents for my nephews and some and stuff. Yeah. And last year, I didn't end up doing it, but maybe for the birthday this year. I was like, you know what would be a great gift for a kid? Just a barrel. What would be more fun than that? You could learn to stand on it and, like, walk. You could yeah. roll inside of it. Grant, what would be better than a barrel? Let's see. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. I, well, hang on. Shh, shut up, shut up. It's accent. <laughs> hang on. Don't worry. I'll be fine here. This is, just, is he going to ventrilo? Yeah. This just leads to I'm more questions, to honestly. Yeah. <laughs> So, Wait, so he is sentient. So he's not, it's not a puppet. So it is, it's the white thing. The white thing's the puppet? I think it's the white marshmallow oh, thing that's the puppet. Yeah, that's what I, I always thought. I don't know. Is that the puppet? You're the puppet. <laughs> I, I looked that up recently. Oh, you did? Yeah. What, what did you find out? Um, the, yeah. The, 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 the little, the marshmallow thing. Yeah. That okay. he's, he's just a stuffed animal, but the, the cat is supposedly sentient. So and the so cat's like in, in league with Reeves. That Reeve. Reeve. And so, is it... There just must be a walkie-talkie inside the marshmallow then the yes puffball correct <laughs> All right. well no because i think it's just cat kate Seth talking which one is kate Seth? kate Seth is the cat <laughs> i'm sorry kate shathi as they say thank you so okay so what we're saying is <laughs> that it, it's it's kate shathi <laughs> has has his own agency he can do whatever he wants but at the same time, like Reeves is just spying on everything, like listening to everything. But he's not Reeves is not the one. Reeve is not the one that's actually communicating with the with with the group. Okay, so, so we have two thoughts. Puppy Palooza says the cat is a robot. Reeve controls it in Seven, but here it's autonomous. <laughs> uh, Raisin B Man has the answer. He says I don't think anyone cares enough to know which is which. Oh. Okay, well you can go ahead and unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Run and jump, jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> Just everybody who contradicts you in any way. Okay, you need to go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We won't miss you. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's just kind of funny because I've probably, like, collectively over the past 20 years thought of, I don't know, maybe three hours of this exact subject. I, it bothers me, frankly. Yeah, um, it didn't relate to your classes, but your thesis in college was about <laughs> the automa auto automa automa what's what i'm looking for Automat automation uh, uh, yeah. of, of kitchathi yeah um i gotta see minus so it's fine <laughs> totally worth it <laughs> i think i'm getting a maybe a d minus right now you a I, lost well super lost man i i don't know why because these hallways all look different excuse me the what's uh, Corridors. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. So a long time ago. Oh no. What's what's this jabroni doing here? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna have you tell that story and botch it again in I your own to, like. I tried to cut him off. Delusional. <laughs> delusional. I'll tell a story when I when I'm prime and ready. <laughs> so Reeve goes behind a door with his dumb cat and leaves me here with the zool. I guess. All right. It's Aqua. Uh. Someone says that the last hour of this game is bonkers. Oh, fun. Okay. That's fun. Uh, and how many hours is that away? Who yeah, can say? You tell. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, I have a coworker who played this game. Wow. What? Yeah. How does that come up? Uh, we were talking in the break room about the Final Fantasy demo, and then it led to Dirge, this. dirge talk. and wow. uh, Talk and Dirge. Yeah. Yeah, he mentioned uh, something about the ending. Oh, um, fun. Okay. I think I'm looking forward to it, actually. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Um, I did see a clip on YouTube the other day. Um, it wasn't this game. The, the other Vincent the Joe game. Rogan clip. <laughs> Roglam. <laughs> Roglam. Uh, no, it was uh, <laughs> it was about like Sephiroth and like two people that he trained with. One one was named like oh, I'm gonna botch this. Uh, it was two people that he was. Uh, is that Advent Children? Folks? No, it wasn't Advent Children. This this was a game. 
So probably Crisis Core. Oh, yeah. And uh, he was training with two other people in this kind of like simulation room. And uh, one of them was quoting a scene from Loveless. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. I do want to. I, I haven't finished Crisis Core, but I definitely want to go and watch all the cutscenes. Right. Yeah. Although I should probably just save that for Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, right? Because it's not going to be relevant. True, 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 the true, first true. Part. Yep. Yeah, you're totally right. Uh, Matt Parr said, when does this game take place in the timeline? It's after the movie. It's after Advent Children. So More specific than what that. What is that in like, relation what, to Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. How many years after? That's a good question. They said at the beginning of this, like this after... like five years? Let's see. So, bum, 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 bum. Seven years. So, Crisis Core is seven years before Final Fantasy VII. Okay. Oh, weird. Before Crisis... Is six years before Final Fantasy VII, and then, ba 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 ba. This is a confusing timeline. Two years after Final Fantasy VII is Advent Children, and then mm. three years after Final Fantasy VII, Dirge of Cerberus, and then of course Dirge of Cerberus Lost Episodes on the phone, which I actually imported from Japan, uh, takes place between missions four and five of Dirge of Cerberus. Four years after Final Fantasy VII, the current portion of On the Way to a Smile, Case of Denzel, takes place. Which, what's your favorite part of On the Way to a Smile case of Denzel, Ryan? Oh, there's um, there, there's so many. Uh -huh. uh, remember that time that uh, a guy said, he's like, should I just drink all this high potion? And, and he did, and he got sick. And it was a big laugh. Oh, God. Uh, it is a Final Fantasy VII audiobook. What? I don't know about this. Now, what's all this, then? It's a series of short stories taking place between Final Fantasy VII and Advent Children. Oh, that's confusing. It's been released in four languages, and it's written by Nojima, the story writer for Seven. Oh, man, people must have made translations of those. Are they any good? Is anybody familiar with On the Way to a Smile? <laughs> Which is about Cloud learning how to smile, apparently. <laughs> you just raise the corners of your mouth. I'm man. on my way! Don't rush me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Uh, Clifford asks, has Remake confirmed that Vincent will make an appearance? I don't think he's making an appearance in that. No. Maybe, I, like... I would doubt it. I, I would be disappointed if he wasn't saved for the, the, yeah. the second portion of the game. Well, do you think maybe, like, in Hojo's lab, there'll be, like, a picture frame of, like, look what I did to this slam effort. Or, like, something fun. <laughs> oh, my finest work. <laughs> look at this coffin. Uh, let's see. The developer of HyperDot, Charles, thank you for tuning in on Twitch. Says, Hello. Hey, hey Charles, this... it was nice to meet you. Oh, that's nice. He says feeling isn't mutual no uh, he says is this the fastest you can turn the camera left and right when aiming down the sights all these small corridors with 90 degree turns seem like a pain he's is right it, is it as sluggish as it seems oh yeah oh boy uh how are we doing grant where are we at honestly i have no idea <laughs> i thought i was on the right track um i don't think i was though well i guess we just explore this building one at a time it feels like i've seen everything and I thought Homeboy Azul was down at the bottom floor, and he just was not when I got down there. Oh, because there was that cutscene. Mm-hmm. Of him just entering the space? Yeah, and he wasn't down there. Like, I got on a, a mounted gun, and I shot some dudes. You checked the jukebox, played your favorite hits, yeah. your favorite AFI songs. and um, while we wait, uh, Garrett on YouTube, Ronnie, wants you to explain what's happening in the story of this game like it's an elevator pitch. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and I'll do that. Um, confidently, he says. Confidently. Absolutely, I will do that. Mm -hmm. uh, the first question that I have is just, uh, what's an elevator pitch? <laughs> <laughs> just like the most thorough and exhaustive explanation of something. Oh, Oh, okay. Like as well, if you were talking to Nojima himself about the story. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hang on. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll see you. All right, Grant. Let's really focus on this. Okay. I'm going to go to the flashing light. Is it always on your map, like the objective there? That's what I'm hoping. What? Oh, I see. Somebody asked what Game Informer gave this. I don't know. I'm going to look in the legacy um, view archive here. I, I might know a snippet about what Game Informer said about this. Oh. Uh, I looked at the Metacritic for it. Yeah. And the tagline was uh, something along the lines of, 
in an effort of making this game polished and good, somewhere along the along the way they forgot to make it fun. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Don't remember who wrote that though. Huh. Yeah. This is a six seven five right. GI. So you know it's a banger. Yeah, everything about this game seems six-ish. If you have any suggestions on where we're going. I got it here. Do you? Yep. Oh, sweet. Turns out the map is your friend. Uh, I really missed the the giant map button now yeah. on the PS4 controller. That thing is just a godsend. That's so stupid. I would love to chart like the history of the map button. Like What the did they first really game? want it for? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, originally they were thinking about it as like, it was specifically because... I believe mobile phones were huge mm -hmm. and they're worried about like, oh, is a smartphone crushing the console industry? Maybe there's some way to fuse it. And so I think that was the idea from Sony is like, oh, we can have some sort of touch like interface sure. on this thing. So just play tapper games relentlessly on your, yeah. <laughs> on your PS4 exactly. controller. Exactly. All right. But then that was abandoned immediately and now it's just big juicy map button. Oh, it's the best too. It's very satisfying. I do like it when they um, take advantage of the four corners uh, and mm. give it like a little bit of functionality. Yeah, for sure. Because bottom right just screams map. You know, it's close to your right thumbstick. It's kind of right there. It's just a natural move. Is Vincent just Batman with guns? Um, well... Hint of, hint of snake in there, too. I wonder if Batman's ever sucked blood like a bat. Has that ever been established? I know Man Bat's into it, but... Is there really a character called Man Bat? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you played Arkham Knight, right? Don't you remember, like, that jump scare? Man Bat, if you're flying around the open world... At some point, Man Bat would be like, Wee! and like scream at you from the top of the tower. It's awesome. I definitely played this game. Um, it's possible you missed it, or maybe you just have ice water in your veins and you didn't flinch when Man Bat tried to attack you. There is a decent chance of that, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of good YouTube reactions from Man Bat. <laughs> Ralph says Final Fantasy VII Remake should have been in development. Of the original concept for Final Fantasy VII, a game about a detective working in New York City. That'd be interesting, just like take the core idea and just kind of remake it in the most literal sense possible. Because yeah, I guess like the first image for Final Fantasy VII that they had was uh, like a detective in the rain at night. Hmm. Yeah, but then I just saw this interview. Oh, look at this. Look at you go. I had to try something here. So what's the limitation for using this? Why aren't you in this form all the time? Uh, it's an item. It's a uh, it's it's an item that's called limit break, isn't it? It is. Uh, All lim right. Limit breaker, limit breaker. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, it was limit break was copyrighted. <laughs> well, necessary. Some other jerks got it. Is there a meter? Uh, I think it's just time. Oh, those are my those are my friends there. I'm sorry, guys. But still, you're a scary monster, and you should just freak them out a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, don't don't let them get too cozy. Freaky monster who still needs a freaking card key. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Super Nintendo says, I just got here. Um, could Ronnie explain this game in an elevator pitch? No, he says, yeah. He says, I just got here. Do you gain XP in this game? Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, at the end of each stage, uh, you gain XP based on, yeah, uh, there's like seven or eight criteria that they grade you on. It's like a point system. Yeah. Right, yeah. You can also convert that to currency if you want to buy some potions, too. Mm, there you go. Now, could you play just a quick game of billiards on the table? I'd really appreciate I it. I desperately tried. It won't let me. <laughs> Plays the card music from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Think they have Triple Triad in here somewhere? I hope so. Me too. These girls were crowding the key. What was that confusing thing where they released Triple Triad on mobile technically, but it was buried within another app? Are you thinking oh. of Gwent? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. There's, it's some weird Hang thing. <laughs> Hang on. Gwent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of Gwent. <laughs> Um, hey Ben, uh, yeah. I heard a rumor, <laughs> hot, uh, hot rumor that uh, somebody in the chat was asking if you would do an elevator pitch for this uh, for this game. Oh, the yeah, and I, and so I was just like wondering if you could do an elevator pitch because I yeah. don't know again what an elevator pitch is. Right, so, like, right. Maybe it absolutely, and I'll get to that right <laughs> after this cutscene loads. Oh, oh yeah, no, this is an important one. Is that is that Hale Emmerich? I have a gun. One of the suits is missing, Snake. Yeah, Honestly, the environments are so Metal Gear too. They're in the elevator with you. I knew it. Shulk. 
shit. <laughs> Do you think the director of this, um, cared? I have no acquaintances in the WRS. <laughs> what? No. Do you think the director of this, in like any in any interview, referenced Metal Gear as a, a, a source of inspiration? No. Not externally. No. Nope. You don't think so? Okay. No, you you haven't changed at all. How? What shoe size is Vinny Rock in there? Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> I, I, I think you're gonna ask about the girl yeah, who Shalua, seems to be about even. eleven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Since rocking like a Shaq 24 or something. He's just trying to impress people. His foot isn't really that big at all. Can you see my feet? Wait, what if it's a Sideshow Bob scenario and just goes all the way to the end? <laughs> Lightsaber? Sweet. Yeah, okay. oh. I kind of like her. Don't take another step. I'm in Show. love with her. Yeah, no, I get it. It doesn't matter who I am or who you are. I'm her. My current mission as a deep ground soldier is all that is relevant. I'm him. I'm her. No, it does matter. Grant, you gotta claim Even who you are. Passed, you're still Shulk. You gotta be Vance. The guy, guy skulking <laughs> in the corner there. <laughs> Why doesn't he just walk away? <laughs> hey, Vincent, we're not done over here. Um. <laughs> Ten years. Has it been that, that long? That weapon is wild, man. The day they came to take me away, I was told How I had potential. Supposed to be? But those words were nothing but a precursor to a decade of suffering. They manipulated my mind until I was a shadow of my original self. The pain, the, cow. the food. <laughs> All right, camera. For ten years, I lived in hell far Whoa. deeper than any you could imagine. Vincent lived in a coffin in a. <laughs> Ba basement for <laughs> potentially dozens of years. <laughs> Eating his own feces. <laughs> yeah. I don't here. Is it test subject locked in a basement. <laughs> However, I don't consider myself the least bit unfortunate. Except that for so long I held on to a foolish threat. Here's the problem. This is a monologue for somebody that you care about. You. Yeah. And we just met her. And other than her being the coolest design in this game. Like, right. I'm so sorry. Somebody says, yeah, Ralph, that, yeah, these designs are totally Xenosaga. To That's true. This would have been right after Xenosaga, too. I mean. Stop this. Read to Esty. To Esty, yeah? So. To any. You are Shalua's <laughs> youngest sister. Oh. Excellent. Were we now supposed I to know that? They said that, yeah. No. Oh. At her. That's the price Jalua has paid fighting Shinra for the past ten years. Shinra. <laughs> she has a bit of a Quistus Reef. vibe, too. <laughs> yeah. Her arm, more than her eye. She has put her life on the line, time and time again. So she sucked out her own All eye? to find her lost sister. Wait, how? What? More than half her organs have been reconstructed. Not a day goes by when Shalua doesn't suffer the pain of a hundred souls. Are they going to explain how or why? But still, she... Enough. If you want to find your sister, it costs you your eye. I've... I've heard enough. Stop! Did she cut her hair? I don't think she cut anything. <laughs> well, should get going. <laughs> About time to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> More of her. She's got some real sore boots there. Mm hmm. Use these. Is Vincent also missing his arm then? No. Kind of, kind of looks like he is. Kind of does, yeah. Don't but worry. The bullets will only sedate her. Let Vincent handle this. Vincent, you're within earshot, right? You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is sweet. It's like part well, proton you're not pack, at her. part oh. lightsaber. Oh, oh man, oh. she is the sweet. Yeah. Hey, Grant, this music could actually be good, too. She is not sweet. 
She's scary as hell, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. All right. Somebody's grabbed our imagination in this game. That's it. No. Uh oh. Great. No. Go she can't handle that. These are just uh, sedating claws, right? Yeah, it's not. Let me use it. Oh God, I hate that. Oh wait, you think that this is gonna be like a uh, a moment where she's just gonna be like, oh, that hurt, and then it. She's gonna be still be alive and oh yeah i think yeah. so well she's just gonna fall asleep because it's gonna put her uh put her right out uh this is why the internet's great raisin b man on yeah. twitch says hey this song is called a girl named shelk i've heard it oh. on pandora before oh well, that's <laughs> okay. amazing god bless you okay is she blocking that no she's, just too, she's too quick for the the super good lock-on system here. And you can't turn <laughs> up the the speed of a uh, cursor or anything? Yeah. Yeah, that is prohibitively slow. Hold on. Let me set it to the speed of light for this girl here. <laughs> uh, B says, I'm going to catch this in the archive since I'm too invested in the story to join halfway through. Glad to see three of you in the same room again, though. Looking forward to the laughs. Very hey. Sweet. Thank you. By the way, I pulled up an article about that triple triad in iOS. Mm -hmm. The Structroid wrote an article in 2015 called Square Enix's Triple Triad iOS app is an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess like it, it's just waves of BS logging into your Square Enix account and then it's just riddled with microtransactions oh. and everything costs energy. Oh. Yeah. So it feels like these shots should be hitting. Yeah. Based on everything else I've seen in this game. Yeah. yeah I mean, you're... you're Doing damage just kind of slowly. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, she's doing it really fast. Yeah. I mean, do you have any other ammo or anything? Oh, whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out. 193. Yeah. Don't let her touch you. Don't let her touch your cape. Oh, this time it worked. Oh, there you go. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> she's going to wait for you. Ooh, Ooh she's very patient. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna oh my God. sedate the hell out of her. <laughs> sedate her with fire, Grant. Vengeance is mine. <laughs> Get I, out of here, kid. I like that the world of Poppy 7 is so crazy that she sees somebody do that and it's like, well, I guess I'll keep fighting them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that skilled. <laughs> I've been skilled, though. <laughs> Have you? Have you seen the Friday the 13th film? <laughs> yes. Well, then look at this one. Hair looks good. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've given up my eye and all of my organs to find my sister. <laughs> Did we miss a line? We must have. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I like that he's just chilling here. <laughs> Hey, well, hey. it's time to go home, Vincent. I it's just like an athlete like after a game. He's like, what do I do with all this adrenaline? Hold on, let me shop. Frankly, no, I'm freaking gonna... out here. <laughs> no, the community will accept you, but let me he's, try it. Now he's digging through his pocket to see how much change he's got. <laughs> oh, someone left a gill in the slot. <laughs> Stupid fingers. Radio, is this yours? Can I have it? <laughs> Transforming here, no big deal. No one has to congratulate me on doing something <laughs> superhuman. That's cool. Hey, wait a second. Does everybody in this world have a limit break? Interesting question. Like, does Marlene have a limit break? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, like if you get beat up enough, does yeah. everybody have a limit break? Well, let's find it. out. I bet Aqua has one. I would love, love it if Marlene has a limit break. <laughs> <laughs> Complain more. <laughs> it's just like a. Yoshi's uh, you know Ultimate Smash, right? Where it's just like a horde of other Yoshis, but it's just a horde of orphans, <laughs> like storming through. Dugga, 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 dugga. Just uh, as I thought. Hey, Ben. Yeah. What if for destiny. Mintrax, uh, can Matt Helgeson well, do the Final I'll Fantasy VII album? Really oh, the oh, soundtrack? But no, 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 no. Mega Ran, the dude who did the rap album. What? Oh. I might still have it in you my car somewhere. You gave it to me in like. Two, I did? 2011. Oh, weird. 
I don't remember that at all. Oh, we'll, um, yeah, we'll, if you're ever on Mintrax, you we'll, just gotta kiss some Helgas and ass to get it. We'll find it. Invite. Don't you worry. Yeah, I have I have a list of albums that I wanted to do at some point for Mintrax, but, but this week is the first episode, and it's gonna be James Brown versus Nas. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if I was to get a uh, coveted Mintrax appearance, I'd have to go Coheed. I mean, there's just no other way. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, could I be on Mintrax? Is that something <laughs> God, look at that. Look at the size of that gun. What? <laughs> well, that is a big gun. <laughs> um, but but for the uninitiated, because I know that all this rolled out in the last 24 hours, yeah. Mintrax is... Ronnie, look at you. Look at you doing a good job. <laughs> um, after this cutscene, okay. let's get into it. Once Grant is extremely bored. You shouldn't okay. leave those things lying around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're in this game? You're Reeve? Oh no, he's got a barrier. That's his limit break, isn't it? It is. He found it. <laughs> I casted protect. <laughs> That's his big move, is casting protect. <laughs> I have this material. <laughs> Excuse me. My barrier. Barrier. That's great. I'm not ready for this. Just got done. It's like legitimately feels like the end of the game. I like, just got done dealing with that 12 year old and she damn, <laughs> damn near smoked me. This is Metal Gear as hell. Yeah. yeah. Three. This is just Vulcan Raven here. Yeah, 100%. Uh, so, Mintrax is uh, our new, it's like the first uh, expansion of the MinMax Podcast Network. It's our first uh, podcast, and it's Matt Helgeson, who's a former host of the Game Informer Show podcast. And it's going to be a dueling album review show. So, uh, every episode he brings on a guest. That guest pitches Helgeson, makes him review an album that he doesn't know that well, but the guest loves. And oh, then okay. Helgeson picks an album for the guest to review that he loves that the guest doesn't know. Oh, that's super fun. Yeah. And so, first one coming up on Friday is apparently I, I'm constantly mispronouncing this rapper. I've probably learned it before. I have to talk about it on a podcast for a long time. But Nas, Nas. Well, someone said it's not pronounced Nas. It's Niz. <laughs> Anyways, and it's N A S. Yeah, Illmatic's the name of the album that I'm going to be reviewing, and uh, it should be fun. And there's going to be community involvement as well. Uh, we're going to take a song from the community, like, and dissect a song of uh, of like. That's what I'm looking for. Every episode will have like, hey, here's a, the song of the episode that the community suggested that we kind of analyze on top of it as a bonus. Oh, fun. Okay. And then also there's community cool. questions about music and stuff because Helgeson knows so much about music that it's going to be really fun to tap into all that stuff. We're, um, and Youngie Lungy we're, says, Mintrax sounds like a riff on a Fire Inside Out podcast. I dig it. Uh, yes, it uh, it's basically a spinoff of a Fire Inside Out. Yeah. Which no. Grant was on an episode of. Oh, yeah. If you really want to get in your history. I was never invited. I asked. Pronounce Nas. Uh, many times. Not Nas, but Nas. Nas? Are we right. talking little Nas X or are we talking uh like uh we're we just talking talking Nas here? Look, I gotta I don't understand. Uh Sid the Astro said, hey, did I hear someone say Coheed? Hey! She did. Yes, I <laughs> uh been a fan for like the last sixteen years. I absolutely love them. And you're more of a Coheed guy than a Cambria guy, right? I'm more of a Cambria, but he's more I'm, of a Coheed. I'm an equal opportunity really? fan. <laughs> Is this guy really Dunzo? After all that setup? She yes. says we're talking ad nauseum. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. <laughs> makes sense. That makes sense. Here's. What? Is, it, is he really going to be dead, do you think? Is that truly the end of he's going to Aquarius? That's all! He's going to embody Shulk or whatever her name mm, was. Wait. Shinra Manor. We are going there. But that is where. Hold on to your hat, Dave. We're going there. Understood. However, Can't wait for that guard, monster. We have reports of deep drowned units sure. in that area. <laughs> Do you think they're going to have the safe in the, in the remake? I was going to say, it's the safest spoiler. Yes. No, no. <laughs> it's going to be finicky as well. Wow. I just want to see some of the enemy designs, like the dude swinging on the... the yeah. Oh, right, like, the chandelier guy? Well, based what, on the demo and like everything we've seen, like they're being 
pretty literal with those enemy designs, like the weird Which flowery, love. floaty yeah. things. It's like, yeah. what the Dude, hell? the, uh, me, the like, computer chip companion. little fucking dragon things. Yeah. Excuse me. It's time we found out what Deep Ground is truly <laughs> up to. So he called Kate Sith his feline companion. So <laughs> would you say that about a puppet? <laughs> like a robot puppet? <laughs> Did Jim Henson, well, Jim Henson probably considered Kermit his companion, didn't he? D. Yeah, it's D. D. It's a little oh bit weird. Oh, my God. Mm. Magic casted, yeah, that makes well, sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you got. To be fair, I totally forgot that I had magic rounds. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> uh, I'll take the B. That's fine. Yeah. Just give me the B. <laughs> nice work, Grant. Hey, thanks, man. Woo! Woo! Yeah. All right. I'll let go. This that screen. Like, I know they wanted an active background, but we're trying to look at numbers. We don't need right. a supernova happening in the background. Hmm. Decision. So, give me the XP. By the way, we did this for the Great Cody Hunt today, where we streamed um, Warzone, Call of Duty thing. Oh, But fun. if anybody wants to support us on Patreon at any tier, uh, we'll keep note of it. We have a notification thing that'll pop up, and we'll give you the Cream Dream Thrill of a Lifetime shout-out. Mm -hmm. Ronnie insists he'll... Uh, He'll come up with a bunch of good jokes about your name. Oh, God. I've got so many. <laughs> and he'll finally give that elevator pitch that I've heard so much about. <laughs> All right, so the game. Here we go. This is Vincent. Starts off with Yuffie uh -huh. as a television reporter. To be continued. It's weird that we can audibly hear the sweat building on your forehead. <laughs> Hang on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, can you imagine running through that goopy water with those shoes on? Ooh. Girl, that's nasty. <laughs> How do I get that? You need to be sick Kate Seth about. What? Remember that bad Coheed phone game? Asked Sid. No. Do you know about this? Sorry, I don't. Hang on, Destructor wrote an article in 2015 and said it's an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that, said the Astro. What is the Coheed game like? Oh, you have to shoot it, people say. I did. Oh, it didn't give it to you? I don't know what happened. I shot it and it blew up. Hold on, you got people who have played this thing? Right there in the chat? I think so. Oh my god. Savages. Oh, there we go. Wow. That's an enemy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they, we remember him. Their defense is crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got. You have to use uh, lightning on them. Yeah, they, they, they slow you down a lot, too. Right? Weren't they outside the Cosmo Canyon, though? Oh my god, you got it. Yep. Nice. I mean, uh, shoot them with a gun. Those guys are... It's because they're a bunch of chumps. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what Cloud was worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Told me to watch out for the turtles. I hate Cloud. <laughs> that is one of my subtle favorite things in Final Fantasy VII is at a certain point in that game, everyone's like talking freely about how they feel about Cloud. Oh and my God, I love like, that point. Yes. It's just like everyone's 100%. just like, it kind of sucks, right? Like no one's really in love with Cloud except for like Tifa. I never... Uh... I think it was the time that I was playing through Final Fantasy VII when you guys were, were playing it on the deepest dive at Game Informer. Mm. Game Club. Game Club. Legally completely separate. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, that was the moment that I like actually conceptualized, like, wait a second. Like, all of them are just like, like we don't have to stick by this guy. Yeah. Like, we can go do our own thing. Yeah. And, and like, the, the uh, crew was actually just, like, completely split. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barrett was just kind of... Barrett and Sid both were just kind of like apathetic, like God, ah, no, like we have no real affinity for him. And Tifa's like, "Come on, Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, <laughs> he's fun, you guys. <laughs> his past, this is cool. I know he monologued yeah. for like four hours talking about his past at one time in calm, but come on. I don't know. It's cool that he just kind of let us go in and out. Did you see him make out with me underneath the high wind? <laughs> it was hot. Come on, guys, it was hot. Well, that hasn't happened yet, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, you guys I have are, it perfectly mapped out. <laughs> you guys are talking like this game has been released. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. uh, by the way, uh, guys, what did you think about that demo? Oh man, we are we are deep in this thing before that comes up. Oh you know, man, I, I've been I've been sitting on that for an hour. That's all I've wanted to talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My anticipation is, is tenfold after that. Oh, uh, yeah. me too. Yeah. Yeah, I, and like. I think it's just knowing that they're taking some 
swings with the combat that they're actually tried to right. reinvent it. That I know yeah. it's like I'm not a big Kingdom Hearts guy fan, so maybe there's intricacies of that combat that I don't see. But just feeling like, okay, it has the action component of Kingdom Hearts, but I think it just feels so much better. And also just being able to slow down. It's such a subtle thing, but we're just talking about it. But like, the fact that you don't pause time completely, but it just moves so yeah, slowly, yeah, right, it makes right, right, it so much yeah. more visually interesting. And like, it yeah. still stresses you out a little bit. That the oh, it numbers, totally does. Like, time is still moving here. Yeah, like 15 felt like it was, there was too much going on. It just did not, did not feel like it was as polished as that demo did. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, I remember texting you, Basically saying, I hope they do what 15 tried to do. Yeah. And after playing the demo, they just, they nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It's, yeah, it's amazing. But then the part, you know, just to be cynical, it's like, well, they probably remade that section of the remake uh, 1,400 times throughout the last six years. You know? Right. And so it's yeah, like, maybe, that level of polish, I don't know if it'll be throughout the entire experience, but still just from that, that yeah. seems awesome. And then I get worried about like looking at screenshots they've released and stuff where it's like, oh, all these side quests around Midgar, like, are they going to be padding this out in a way that's not as entertaining as we'd expect from that amazing first hour? Sure. But couldn't, I mean, couldn't you imagine, like, I, I think the best of both, of both worlds would be a combination of those two things where once in a while they just give you a tidbit of nostalgia and then they add something new. Yeah. You know, and, and just repeat that process over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Like, like Midgar was such a huge place that we just did not get to really explore um, but I also, you know, back then I didn't really even think about that. And so the idea of doing that now is wonderful. Like, mm -hmm. I just... How much I, would you pay for Loveless DLC just to sit in the crowd and watch the entire play, like some Red Dead 2 thing? $200. $200 to buy this little If I found out that it was, like, official and, yeah. and nobody else had it. <laughs> $200. Then you just strut your way through Walmart. Anybody want to ask me anything? <laughs> Um, final. Yeah, you know, since you were able to see this stuff, since you were in the industry uh, before the rest of us. Yeah. This was like, I'm sure for Dave and I, this was the first thing that makes it feel like it's really fully happening. real yeah. as a yes. consumer instead of. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember I came back from E3 last year, having played it, and I was like, it is the second coming of Christ. Yeah. Like, yeah. You did. You did honestly like you, like I saw gameplay of it, and I thought, oh, it looks a lot like Final Fantasy 15, and then I. You know, Ben jumps on Slack and is like, "You guys, you guys, <laughs> just just going not channel, here we go. channel." Here we go again, Mr. Game Boy over here. <laughs> you don't know what I've seen. Is it a game? Well, yes, but <laughs> is it good? Well, maybe. I can't tell you, but you'll find out in 2020. <laughs> It's gonna be so pumped. <laughs> Great, Ben. <laughs> uh, Garrett Becker says, "I've never seen, or I've never been a Final Fantasy guy. Played a little 15. I'm excited for the seven remake. Should I hold off on the demo and just wait a month for the game to release? Mm. Play the, if, if you know, if you know demo. that you're going to play the game, like 100, percent then I mean, you, you don't need to. But I, I also don't think that it's, it's, I don't think it's gonna hurt if you play that. Yeah. And in fact, build you your should play it. Like, build yeah, your build your hype, hype a little bit. I, I." I think that this is going to do only good things to your uh, opinion. Yeah. Only um, good things to your opinion, sir. Also, once you finish the demo, the very nice thing you can do is buy the game in two different tiers. I bought it four times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I, uh, I, so I, I played the demo four times now, actually. Really? I, yeah, I just... I, I, wow. Just because, like, well, what should I play tonight? I'll just play that one more yeah, time. Because yeah, because, I mean, it takes, like, now it's, like, uh, it's about an hour demo. Um, yeah. And it's just, like, it's so fun. The the end battle on that demo is a lot of fun. Um, it comes in, like, three different stages. It, like, brings a, it just, like, mixes up mechanics just a little bit. You get to see, like, how, you know, Cloud and Bear both get to play. Um, and I like the banter between Cloud and Barrett. I, I love it. Um, I love it! Because, because I was digitally stalking you at home, mm -hmm. uh, I was just tickled one night to find that <laughs> both on my Switch list and my PlayStation 4 list, you had Final Fantasy VII pulled up on both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going nuts right now. As Wait. he was writing his draft of Loveless. <laughs> Which it's it's shaping up to be pretty good, honestly. <laughs> More erotic than I was expecting, but you know the chips fall where they may. Taryn likes it. I don't know. I was, I was it's a really joke for everybody. I was really hoping you would be just playing both with one hand. Like, man, look at the differences here. <laughs> this, this 
train looks so real. 97, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Rylock R says, uh, what do you think about the grunts and stuff on the English VO? Because if you listen to the Japanese language track of the demo, they're not nearly as prominent. And he thinks mm -hmm. it's it's too much. I guess oh, you notice it. I haven't grunts. noticed it. Yeah. it. And now, thanks to you, I will notice it. <laughs> I mean, I, I did notice it a little bit, but it I've just, mm. I don't know, I've come to expect it, I guess. It just kind of feels like it's commonplace now. Yeah, from my perspective, oh. it's tough to hear, like, grunts over my own moans. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that they honestly chose because, like, okay, we gotta have a sewer level, guys? I'm going to the mat over this. We gotta have a sewer level in Dirge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you think then they're like, okay, what are the enemies? They're like, well, the turtles. Like the turtles. Do you think it's just a TMNT reference? Is there a reason that there ah. should be those turtles? Why not? There are literal sewers in Final Fantasy VII. Just put some of the. And you know, actually, uh, fun fact: uh, a turtle has never been in a sewer in all of uh, human history. Actually. How many turtles are in a sewer right now in the United States? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> never been one. Never will be one. <sighs> Since people in the chat have supposedly played this, yeah, <laughs> help help us out. What the hell am I doing here? Uh, it's turtle time, they say. Um, I what about uh, your lovely map? I looked at that and it's trying to bring me somewhere that um. I can't get to. Grant, you don't understand the cold chill of fear I fill up my spine every time I realize you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I have to pay attention to this? It's not just a video? Because that's the weird thing. Yeah, they're, they're, like, Grant is providing a huge luxury to both of us. Oh, like, yeah. We have to acknowledge that. Um, and did you ever think about this? Like, for like Grant, how many times would you die? Oh. Would have died by, oh by this time? 3,000. Yeah. Um, but think about this, like Grant's controlling the game mm -hmm. on the yeah. controller. Yeah. For the rest of us, we're just watching it. We're just there's one person controlling it, and then like all these people are just watching it. Here we go, everybody. All right, this, this looks like a promising spot. I knew I'd help. Thank you. I'm here to give you some just so, good some brain teasers. Right there. Yeah. Ish. That no. saggy hair. No. Oh, you have to touch it again. Ew. Ben, do you ever, um, are you ever upset by your own uh, cynicism? Cynicism? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to be better about that. Um, mm. Look at this. Oh, you just mean like talking about what I worry about with the remake? Yeah, like, uh, um, which which is probably like a, a smart and healthy thing to do. Well, but I don't like, know. It's just, I think also it's, you know, I've been raving about the remake and the demo for so long that I was, it was genuinely just like, what, what are... What's a new conversation to have about it that I haven't had yet? Oh, which is like like going into like things that you I guess noticed, so. like that like could be improved or or just things that I'm a little worried about. Like, and yeah. like it was story. Yep. And honestly, the the re at the demo, I know some people had a problem with it, but like, yeah, I thought like okay, story is interesting beats. The oh, one hundred percent. The VO isn't driving me nuts, which I thought it would, and so it's like, oh, I'm fine. So now I just worry about like uh, those side quests. How how padded out is this going to be? Because oh uh, sure, I think it's going to be a hell of a production for Midgar, but then I worry that like. I mean, if it's side quests like other games, it's going to be partially optional too. I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. You could you can mainline that sucker if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. People are debating about the greatest sewer level in any video game ever. Mm -hmm. uh, Battle Toads. Does that count as a sewer? I was going to say Batman Arkham Asylum actually. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Uh, Chrono Trigger people recommend. Like, yeah, they're fine. Uh, Resident Evil Two, Shreeb says. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a good yep. game. I don't know if that section was like out of this world. It's pretty cool. You got the it's a little tough, the, but you got yeah. the gator and stuff. Well, yeah, they had that one puzzle that that one uh, um, checker piece puzzle. I don't remember. It's exactly. a checker piece. It lasted for at least twelve <laughs> hours. <laughs> days. Yeah, days. Yeah, days of sewers in that game. Yeah. It's like four D chess kind of stuff. I yeah couldn't figure it out. Calling <laughs> <laughs> a chess puzzle four D chess. We're literally putting one chess. Two D chess. <laughs> Should we put the queen right here? Is 3D chess, that's like the multiple stacked one, right? Yes. Is that what they call that? Uh, 3D chess is what um, is in our reality, actually. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, but isn't that, yeah, the multiple stacked one, where I think it's just playing multiple games at once, but I think they influence each other in a weird way. Yeah, I've, I've never oh. actually played it, but you're on the right track there. Yeah. Uh, ooh, here okay. we go, Grant. Getting back to an oldie. Is it uh, an oldie on where to go in this godforsaken sewer? Oh, no. Okay. Do you want us to focus on this? No, it's all right. If you have any recommendations in the chat. 
Was there ever a sewer dungeon in Zelda games? <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, uh, you're like underneath the castle and stuff, right? Like in Link to the Past, isn't that? Well, well that's not is that a just dungeon. a dungeon? Yeah. That's it's there has to be. Technically a sewer kind of thing, right? Yeah, but it's not it's not like an actual dungeon, you know? Mm. Oh wait a second. Um Hello. Majora's mask. Yeah? Yeah, kinda. Okay. That guy just really wanted to say hello. Uh, so the Amory Wars colon Fall of the Keywork. Woo! That, that's a game? Is an iOS fighting game set in the fictional sci-fi universe of prog rock band Coheed and Cambria. Oh, right sure. on. I mean, I, I'm familiar with like the, the Amory Wars and the comic books and all that good stuff, but huh. not the game. Apparently it was not reviewed well. Uh, I Twilight Princess had a sewer and Shreve says it was pretty bad. Mm. Mm. Uh, Overblood 2, somebody brings up. Yeah, those sewers are unbelievable. Uh, I can't believe there was one stupid little ladder in one of these little offshoots. Come on. This is, this is what we're working with, folks. Link to the Past? Yeah, it's definitely a sewer. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, yeah but it, it, it was definitely a sewer. I, I'm I, just I, saying that it's I, not a dungeon. Uh, I, I... It's not a dungeon. <laughs> Unsubscribe. How do I get out of here? <laughs> you know, the water temple in Ocarina kind of feels like a sewer. Yeah, yeah. it is an that's, emotional that's sewer. And Ben, that's that's where you stop that's every time. I, that's where I've stopped twice. I've never finished Ocarina. God, that's I've incredible. There both times, yeah. Is it just that you like look at it and re it's just like this is anti-fun? Because you're not wrong. I just, I just, I don't like puzzles. I don't like dungeons in general, which I know is controversial. We, When's the last time you tried? Yeah. Uh, it would have been 2006. I mean, you got, a, you got a pretty big brain compared to 2006. Ben. I you were, really don't you think so. Dumb as hell in 2006. That's true. That's well, true. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was really into December Underground at the time, so how dumb could I have been? It's an like audio puzzle. That's a good point. Uh, the Smack says, hey, how about Blight Town and Dark Souls? Does that count as a sewer? Big time. Uh, <laughs> uh, these two are real souls heads. Is there a crouch button in this game? I like Dark Souls. Do you just like shoot the thing instead of crouching down there? I don't know. Somebody's still shooting at me, though. Charge up. <laughs> do, the warp, do the warp pipes in Mario games lead to sewers, technically? Are those... Those are just, like, underground. Well, no. Are they sewers? There's, ne there's never that much there's liquid no, There's no there. water down there, so maybe... Um, it's mostly just piss. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I said from the... Um, Frequent urination that Mario has when he's down there. Uh -huh. This freaking guy here. Oh, don't worry. Uh, with, with Bravado here on YouTube. Thanks for watching with Bravado. He says, Don't worry, I played this and beat it years ago. I remember nothing about this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate your contribution. I thought it was going to be good, but it was decidedly unmemorable. <laughs> Uh, Sean Eisenhower says, hi guys, just popped in, but want to see it from the start, so I'm going to rewind. Just want to say hi. Hi, Sean, enjoy us from the past. Hello. Sorry that we repeat sir. the same jokes. Goodbye. We'll see you in the future, though. Sid the Astro Sloth, are Goombas not just sentient fecal matter? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Take that, you Goomba. Uh, I really like that. All right, this elevator's just on a timer. Yeah. Just the detail in that elevator is very Square Enix, isn't it? Like, talk about overkill. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> yeah, that's what I've always said. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to download the Triple Triad game on your phone, just trying to get it. <laughs> this game's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Michael oh, Futter says E3 will be canceled tomorrow. That'd be interesting. What? Corona fears, man. Oh, boy. Corona. Yeah, that'll be that'll be crazy. That'll be a bummer, though. But at the same time, like, okay, then I'll just stay home and we'll just live stream the Nintendo Direct style press conferences. So it'd kind of be almost a boost for MinMax. It'd be more fun to create content at home in some ways. Yeah. Um, were you planning on going to E3 and like yeah, for live sure. streaming from there? Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I don't know. I, I was. Who knows? It feels like it's a lifetime away, but... I was Do you think that they would out. let you in? <laughs> <laughs> huh? How many ends are in min mix? <laughs> formally, formally of Game Informer. Um, it's a... 
podcast network. Do you know who Nas is? <laughs> Uh, no, we don't know who Nass is. Uh, <laughs> and frankly, we need to get off our premises. Um, yeah, I, oh, I could get in. All right. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people in the industry have been very nice, but I just haven't really yeah. reached out that, that much, trying to get invites to, to cool stuff. I'm no, a little, I get it. I'm a little pissy that Square had that preview event for Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. I didn't go to that. I was like, man. I, thought, I mean, like, I how in tune? <laughs> sure, but I mean, like, this started... Seven days ago. I was ago. emailing like, them. I I made it clear like, like that how, how much I was making it clear we're ready to fillet Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that'd be an in. Are they aware that we're streaming the dirge right now? Yeah, that's your ticket in, right? Oh yeah, the Square Enix Twitch channel is actually hosting uh, the right. dirge. So. Okay. Yeah. Because what I heard is that they dropped sponsorship after seeing us play this game. <laughs> Somehow they're making the dirge look bad. <laughs> Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> this game got a 6.0 on? Game front! Katase goes over to the remake. Delete. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's a kill no. room! We got him. We got him in the kill room. <laughs> we looked. We know we had to lure him to the sewers with those super easy to kill turtles, but we got him here, all right. <laughs> now we killed. Ah, I'm dead. We got him. <laughs> Reeve, boss, I don't know. Worry. W-H-O. <laughs> uh, who's, who's they've shown the main, <laughs> like, <laughs> they've shown the main, like, big bad guy once so far. I thought yeah. it was Azul. No, no. Well, it's like a big blue guy in a tank, and he's like, you'll all be dead. There's a bigger baddie, yeah. I was scared. <laughs> we got him in the kill room. He's dead. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. This is the big boss checking in. Did the kill room work? <laughs> We spent three million gil. <laughs> Just pouring over design plans. That's Vincent, all right. It took four years to make. <laughs> call, call it a kill room. Cosa Dazzle. Oh, Lucretia McEvo. Oh, that's a uh, little Vincent, baby. <laughs> yeah, pre cape. Look at him. Hot. You know what? Kind of handsome. Valentine oh, kind of. Turk days. Have been assigned your protection. Still has red eyes? What's going on with that? No. Huh? <laughs> Why would they it's like a send him? Denim suit? <laughs> oh, the ranch. Excuse me? Oh, oh, I apologize. Why they send his? This is the first time I have ever met anyone from the Turks. She's a real charmer. Lucrezia Crest. <laughs> Look out, Lucrezia. <laughs> make your acquaintance, Mr. Valentine. Puppy Palooza says the real villain doesn't show up until about two hours away from the ending, and that's when things get real dumb. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. As is tradition in all good games, actually. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Oh, boy. And that's him. Yes. Speaking of all good games... This is the most I've ever enjoyed this cat. <laughs> Just <laughs> the only time you've ever enjoyed this cat. Like I said. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Where are we? Um, some macro reactor. If, if, if I had to guess, it'll be the um, abandoned uh, Shinra reactor in Nibelheim. 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 Okay. Nibelheim. Uh, I don't know. It didn't look very cold. Yeah! Wow. All right. Dave, control this cat. Please, God. <laughs> control this cat for me. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that uh, Ronnie has to play all the gate sets. Because <laughs> he's a silly little cat himself. Okay, and how do I, do I like... <laughs> Yeah, it's actually, it's confusing. You're controlling Reeve, controlling Kate Sip, so. <laughs> Yeah, the controls are inverted. Oh, here's so. a good question, though. Do you what? think Reeve is controlling Kate Sip with a PS2 controller? Uh, well, they, they actually addressed that uh, when you were at uh, Gold Saucer. Um, <laughs> the answer's no. That is, is that a fun animation? Yeah, oh, what? hang on. You know what, you're right. Oh, I'm being cynical. It. You're right, you're right, you're right. Hang on, we'll, we'll go back up there. Uh, do you, Dr. Big says, do you remember when Ben Reeves thought that it was Nippelheim. Nippelheim. 
Uh, I don't. Um, but you know what? Honestly, he's right. Could have been me that said that. Maybe as a joke. Oh, the smack says this game just went up 0.5 in his review score because of this hot case at section. I agree. I and agree. also, just like, the soundtrack is unbelievable. Just stop. Just, just listen. <laughs> People say just the seven soundtrack Inquisitive, you know? It's just unlistenable, you know? Hang on. I mean, for platforming standards, this right here. We gotta get used to that for Edmund Children, that, baby. That feels wrong. Oh, you, there's stealth missions? Oh. Oh, that's fun. Um, do you think that they're gonna stay with this? 100%. No, I don't 100%. think so. 100%. You think that they will? I will bet a hundred, hun, uh, hundreds of dollars on it. Hundreds? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna say no, that they're not gonna, they're not gonna stick with this. The, uh, they're not gonna stick with this. The Scottish this, accent? No, I don't, I don't think they will. 100%. Hundred percent. This was an outlier, but the fact that Evan Children is the same way, that is, and the, that it's a wait, Scottish whoa, 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 name. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Advent Children's the same way. How do you know that? Because I remember it. You were <laughs> called my bluff, and I remember one thing. What? Also, people are bringing up that like, oh yeah, now it's even more Metal Gear, of course. Shut up, shut up. It's just a box. Just can your dumb cat ass shot. Here, up. we go. <laughs> How are they not noticing that just unloading one floor behind him? What if I come back to? Somebody said he sounds like uh, We're playing Metal Gear Solid now? Yeah, this is a stealth Ow. section. Believe it or not, Ronnie's blowing the stealth and what? also apparently blowing the platforming. Oh, what? oh no. <laughs> yeah, but look at look at that barrel. <laughs> And watch him. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that kind of fun? Hey, I, feel like that's oh, kind of fun. Oh, I like that a lot. He's <laughs> just run the reloading right and blast the dumb face off. Can you? Oh, what? Really? How do I? Oh, oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> Never give me that controller again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was desperate times. Oh, uh, no, it's my turn. Uh, you two, uh, don't say anything bad. This is, this is our chance, life. dude. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that came to my mind is just the dirtiest freaking words. <laughs> Couldn't say any of it. <laughs> so this is actually uh, uh, this this is actually a self mission. All right. How does the? No, hang on. I did a. I, I, I... Okay, so you can. Punch. So you can't. Well, so that was probably the thing that that like uh, made those stars. Hold on, chat wants to say say all the bad things, Dave. Oh my god. Well, no, hold on. Dan Tack is streaming Final Fantasy. I know what? Got, I know where he got the idea from. D wait, Dan Tack is streaming Final Fantasy right now? That's what they're telling me. Somebody text him. <laughs> he's, he's, That's very irritating. He's so mortified from playing Warzone with Ben that he's just, <laughs> just like, no! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, but I can't wait to play that game. Single player from here on out? I cannot wait. You have no idea how bad I want to play that game. And we're playing this. I have spent an unhealthy amount of time in Blackout. I know. My God. Anyway, yeah. It's it's terrible. That, that's where I started, or that's where I went at first. And then I went down there and, and, and died immediately. Perfect. But, uh, um, Grant, how many how many games don't, don't, of Blackout... Don't make, don't make me say this. Don't, don't, don't. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna say the actual amount. But, Grant, how many, how many games have you won? Oh. Oh. Not as many as I should. But don't but see now you're tipping your hand. How many games just have um, you won? I'm just shy of a hundred solo wins. Jesus um, Christ! When 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 Ben gets back, we should we should ask him how many solo wins. Because I would have guessed, honestly, for me, I would have guessed like fifteen. Um, and it, so I think I'd have more quad and duo wins, but I. But you I'm, have terrible teammates I'm a sick that you play with. I'm a sick human being, <laughs> and I like to uh, random queue. God, that is sick. Uh, it's just, disgusting. Just a pure roll of the dice, and it's 99%. It's going to be kind of fun. So, honestly, sometimes it's super fun, but most of the time you're quickly reminded why you want your, fr your friends well, yeah, to play course, those games. Course, course. Even if your friends are just absolute <laughs> trash. <laughs> uh, 
What? Are like, you... like out of out of out of your friends, like who's like the one person that you're like, all right, they're not terrible. Mikey. Uh, we never played Blackout. Oh. But in the in the 30 minutes that we played that, um, what was it called? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what you're talking about. Uh, the Darwin, Darwin Project. Yeah. Darwin Project. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah for Ma sure. Mike and I had some so pretty good ones. Right, right, right. That was, that was super fun. Probably Mike and Rory. Then I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. And, and okay. Rory can actually play Warzone with us now too. Oh right. Oh my God. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. You guys, um, these are people that everybody watching doesn't know. It's okay. <laughs> it was. I'm sorry. We said Rory, we meant Kay Itza. <laughs> you have to say Rory, the man who installed the door for uh, Kay Itza. Min Max Studio. Yeah. Oh my god. Kay Itza. Yeah, this is a that's a tough one. This is a large departure from the rest of the game here. Oh my god. Uh, no, Ben, but we were talking about... Um, well, that's my beer. Uh, but we were talking <laughs> about... Uh, um, how many games do you think Grant won for 1v1 Blackout? 1v1. Yeah. Uh, what you mean just si so solos. solos, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That he won. One. Yeah. Probably just shy of 100. Wow. Is this guy listening? <laughs> this guy's so good. <laughs> it was, yeah. It's 100. 100. Yeah, wow. I would have guessed 15. I just was streaming from my pocket. <laughs> when I was going upstairs. <laughs> I, I went to use the exact same phrase as Grant. <laughs> Hold on. Were you hovering over a dump button too? <laughs> Uh, let's just say, yeah, I did go to the bathroom to hover over a jump button if you catch my drift. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, duos and quads down. combined don't add up to solos, but the games, yeah. the games play dwarf it just drastically. Huh. My win rate sucks in duos especially. Uh, shout out to... Um, my last random duo partner, if you were watching the stream, his name was Mr. <laughs> Mr. PPOP. Good old PPOP. Uh, he says, I'm here, Grant. I'm here. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I Mr. love you too. <laughs> Mr. PPOP. We just crushed that lobby. It was wonderful. Nice. It's a beautiful send off to duo, isn't it? Right. And, and that was the moment where you said that you no more. Blackout is, is done. You're retiring it. You're mm -hmm. uninstalling it. Well, there was that game. And then subsequently, like another 40 solos after that. Okay. <laughs> But and I, now you're done. I did go out on a paladin shot for the win, and it just felt great. I, I need to be done there. Perfect. Yep. It's going to feel that satisfying to get through this uh, Kiet Shethi level as well. 100%. Right. Yeah. I don't think it's physically possible. It's just terrible stealth. Hold on. I haven't tried stealth yet. <laughs> Got him. I feel like we've been down there before. Oh, that's a... Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dave, what album would you want to do if you're on Min Tracks in the future? Matt Helgeson's music podcast. I'm sorry, Ronnie? I'm sorry, yes, Ronnie. <laughs> um, oh, good question. Oh. Oh. Um, oh, no. We're cool, we're cool. Well, I only... Um, make it in there. Okay. I guess it might be Shh. AFI or Coed in Cambria. Shh. Shh. You could cover, you could do AFI. Yeah, I suppose I could. Um, I thought of a good one. Oh, no. But I want to do it. You can't call it? Um, okay, the one that I... You know what? You know what I do? Yeah. Tiger Army. Power Moonlight? Probably the first album, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, Interesting. it was a lot of fun. That's, that is such a fun album. Huh. That's a good idea. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be one, a fun one to talk about musically and stuff, too. Like, mm -hmm. There's a lot to cover there. Yep. There's a bass... I dream the fox surrounds me. There's terrible singing, apparently. Dream the fox. <laughs> his, oh uh, my God. his solo country covers of his own stuff. I absolutely adore it. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. What? Sorry, what, what, what did you think it's I was going to say? It's a container filled with children. Hang on, I'll get you in a second. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> it's just a bunch of screaming kids. This is like Pleasure Island from Pinocchio or some effed up thing. That's what I immediately thought of. This is straight up a Pleasure Island situation. <laughs> you know, like Cursive was singing about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy Hollow was largely about Pleasure Island. Oh. So it was Cursive. No, no, no. The, the, ooh, look at that. Now, but that would have been a good one. The, the best album choice, and I want to do it in the future if I'm ever on Mintrax again. Here, fingers crossed. <laughs> but it's almost like cheating. Yeah. 
is, but it's genuine, genuinely one of my favorite albums, and I would love to talk about it in depth. Is Girl Talks Feed the Animals? Oh yes, absolutely. Wonderful. Which is just all music, yeah. you know. But like, if you still that's, wanted to just talk about like, specifically, right? Exactly. Like, th that's all just pure, unfiltered fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like kids. <laughs> now that I, now that I've got the hang of this a bit more, this actually is pretty fun. Oh nice. Yeah. You preferred over the shooting. Give me a little bit more time with it, and I'll, yeah. I'll let you know. It's nice to know. It's nice that they know that they need to change the pace up a little bit. You know? Yeah. From nice. corridors to pipes. Mm -hmm. Look at his little face. He's, she's <laughs> cute. I never noticed how much I yeah. liked him before. Oh no. Really? When <laughs> twenty children die, you say "Good gracious me." What else you want him to say? Is that uh, our blue boy in there? It looks like Green Boy. What? What in the blazes is growing down there? And I kind of like Usher it. Of I'm, I'm, I'm not averse to him. This this My looks like brother. Blue Baddie here, right? I mean, yeah, this looks like Big Bad Boy, right? This is uh. Omega. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, Hannibal Nero Azul Lecter here. Nero the Sable. Ronan the Accuser. No. No. What the? <laughs> it's poetry. <laughs> what is that? It's Mog. <laughs> God, I just, when I grow up, I want to buy Mog House and live in Mog House. Just give them the correct amount of Koopa nuts. And <laughs> just, just let them live. Just say when I grow just up. Just let them live. <laughs> we should do it. Can we do a bonus stream after we finish this game where it's just us streaming Mog House? <laughs> like trying to figure out like how many Koopa nuts? Like, yeah. It's not nine. How many Koopa nuts till they hump? <laughs> Only if you replace all the dialogue with sex house dialogue. <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> I don't remember eating any clay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a series that you've watched more, like, like, from beginning to end? Uh, Min Max plays Dirge of Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Yeah. Honestly, like <laughs> British Office, I've probably watched all the way through like three times, four times. But I feel like I've watched Sex Outs with you twice. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it so many times. Is Ooh. this is this really the mansion? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Awesome. I like it when the material bounces more. It's me too. Sounds yeah. better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got own. a nice clank to it. Swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> Just tries to chew on it. Is uh, is producer Amy in the chat anywhere? No. Okay. Vincent. You in trouble? No. You gotta tell her. You gotta tell her to let the dog out. I can text her. Thank you. I mean, honestly, would she not remember that herself? <laughs> she may have fallen asleep by now. She's taking a mean nap. Hundred percent. Yeah. I get it. The poor dog's just staring at the door. I get it. Does, does he whine? Please. Does no. he whine? No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. No, he's not. He's not a whiner. No. I tried to put the the bell by the door to train him to ring the bell. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing. No. <laughs> Just watch me hit the bell like an idiot. Like this is what you do, buddy. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah. Now I go on. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you ring the bell. I go on. <laughs> I don't understand why you need to do this. <laughs> hey guys, this is it. Huh? This is the story juice. She's a digitization of Lucrezia. This is Lucretia. It's Lucretia. No, I'm trying to be literal with what the game wants yeah, me to okay, say. Okay. So Lucretia croissant, right? Mm -hmm. Quelling impurity, purging the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that is a sentence. <laughs> Back and forth, an ultimate fate. If I ever say that out loud, I want you to slap me. You got it. You right said that last week, honestly. Right in your beardless face. It hurts more now. <laughs> I came across this so rot. I, I like that you're talking about going outside and having uh, cold air touching your face for the first time. Yeah. Trepping your head out there with no hair. I have done that. It is it is fun and shocking. Right. Yeah. yeah, fun. That's how I describe it. Yeah, Ronnie, you should shave your head. Just as all other sentient beings. No. Yeah. You heard it here first, YouTube. No. When we beat Dirge, 
Ronnie's getting shaved. <laughs> All I need is 12 subscribers. <laughs> so we got that 12. <laughs> to what? <laughs> Just need 12 on that YouTube. Like, hit, subscribe. <laughs> like, hit. Hit the you comment. To a new beginning. Far, far beyond the never ending sea of stars. This is a whole thing. So it's materia based on the crystal that she's trapped in? Mm hmm. Oh. See, here's. Yes. Oh my god, Rylock. It's, it's like it's starting like a holy type of thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I cut you off, man. Hold on. However, what I can be certain of is if Omega awakens, then all life as we know it will end. <laughs> wait, wait. And this is after the events of Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. Okay. And when Omega has embarked on his journey to the cosmos, our planet. We're sure. Will Sounds like a good, uh, good story for Final Fantasy VIII. I'm going to make that. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a batshit story, but <laughs> <laughs> sorceresses from the future. <laughs> but it's me. <laughs> Honestly, I'd, I'd love that game, though. It's so good. Yeah. I haven't played through it since when it came out. I, I was going to play through it. I was excited to play through it until I found out that uh, you don't need to level in it. It's just it's like a, a weird, weird thing. draw system, that whole thing. Yeah. Uh, that Switch remaster hey, hey, is, hey, is uh, really cool. I can't It's cool seeing the books. Our favorite books. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I am so sorry. Okay, so our threat is Omega. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. Omega Weapon. Mm -mm. No. Oh, God, no. Not a meteor. Do you think Materia feels weird to hold? Like, is it hot in his hand? Or? I feel like it would be warm. <gasps> I think everything in his hands is cold. Oh, yeah. you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Great deal. Yeah, I'm surprised that you can't see his breath every time he breathes. <laughs> yeah. If they would have thought about that, they would have put that in there. Yeah. Uh, I am silver and silent. It's <laughs> <laughs> be red tinted mist, dude. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Yeah. Uh, the zip drive. Uh, what did Rylog have to say? Oh, yes. You're totally right. He was right on. Thank you. Uh, he is right on. I want to wait to the end of this cutscene, which I don't know if the lever ends, but. Mm -mm. Floppy disk. <laughs> This has my save of the Lufia 2 ROM. <laughs> <laughs> Never finished it. It's a good game. That is the story of my life. I'd actually, I want that on my tombstone. Lufia 2, never finished it, good game. Uh, okay, Rylog, God, Rylock R. Yeah. He says it's the Edgelord himself. Yes. Okay, right. no, Rylock says, isn't this the same studio that's doing the Final Fantasy VII remake, right? Like the writing team specifically? That is the core of the conundrum about the compilation of Final Fantasy VII is the last time Square was like, all right, fans, get your get your jollies up. Here we go, Final Fantasy VII. Right. They released the compilation, which is this. It's just like a self-serious, overthought, overwrought, no fun involved affair. And now it's like, we're bringing back that same team to create the remake and by all accounts I think it seems fantastic right but at the same time that's what has me worried is like it's the same creators everybody that thought releasing all this stuff was a good idea that thought like Advent Children was a compelling story alright so here, here's my thing to that yeah <laughs> grand sketch <laughs> phrase here's my thing to that <laughs> I love it when he says that <laughs> this came out in 2006 yeah yeah 14 years ago I too made questionable decisions I've had time to grow They've had time to grow. Right. Yeah. Do you think as storytellers, they've grown that much since 2006? Yes, well, sir. Uh, every, you every, know, I, I think it, it, it's a little bit different. Sorry, Grant, for... Um, okay, but hang on. No, but hang on. Just to cut you off there. Know. You say room to grow. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, to understand the brilliance of th something they created in the mid-90s? Oh, yeah. Like, so they can go from brilliant to, oh, now we're blowing our brilliance and now we can pivot back? Well, wait, so, but that, that's the thing that I wonder is exactly that, where... You know, there's this moment of like we made one of the, like what is touted as one of the greatest games of all time. Yeah. Like maybe what we can do is make a continuation of this game, not not recreate the game, but make it make another game that is of equal value. They didn't, but in 2020, I mean, like as 
the one game that has stood the test of time incredibly, which is Final Fantasy VII, like, like at that point, they have to have this, like, sort of come to Jesus talk of just like, uh, it seems like that story, like, hit home. What exactly in that story did hit home? And how can we encapsulate that? So is it just a matter of having a framework to build off of? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whereas with this, it's just like, oh, a Vincent story. And they're like, blah, hamana, yeah. hamana, hamana. <laughs> but also, it's, just, it's, it's a product of the time, too. Sorry, Grant. Come on. Think about this, too. Post Final Fantasy VII, you're on top of the freaking world. You're riding high. You don't have to... You don't have to show up for the dirge. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You can you can phone that in from the Mediterranean. I mean, but this is ten years after. They're not still riding around in Lamborghinis oh. with cocaine oh. on yes, the they are. back seat. Oh. Those coattails were long, my friend. They, <laughs> well, the cape tails. <laughs> they were riding. But now, riding dirty. now they've got something to prove. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like, do you think? Oh yeah, this game came out. <laughs> but, you know, Final Fantasy VII came out in 1997. Yeah, they're doing it justice in 2020. I mean, like, at that point in time, just like they have to, I think at the very least, admit that they're just like, okay, well, this is the story that everybody likes. Again, yeah. So and they, what they're about clearly, it? They love it. They're passionate about it. Like it's yeah. their baby. Wouldn't right. Th wouldn't this be coffin room right here? If I'm. Uh... Oh my God. You're right. Yes. Oh what my God, is. Grant. There he is. <laughs> There's Vince. You'll never touch your old coffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. It's got my piss stains in it. There it is. Into my poop. Look at that. Look at I that. mean, this is honestly, this is peak dirge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's all we wanted. You know, the first, <laughs> the, the first day that we uh, streamed oh. this, uh, I think I made the prediction that we would see every one of the Final Fantasy VII characters, and look where we are now. I think I think you should hold hold the phone, Dave. You think hold so? the you... GHS, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I will hold the uh, PHS. Is it is it PHS? I yeah, think it's, it's PHS. Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy's a fake ass gamer boy. Yeah, no, he doesn't know what he's doing. I'll see you later, <laughs> I'm a fake ass gamer boy. <laughs> I'll return your money. It's fine. <laughs> Alan Smithy has a wonderful question on Twitch. Why hmm. am I watching this? No, he says. <laughs> <laughs> no, he says. How many cash-in games will ride the wave of the Final Fantasy VII remake? How will many there be a second games? compilation? Or I think the second compilation is going to be mm -hmm. part two, three, four, five, six. Here, here's keep feeding daddy. Keep feeding daddy. <laughs> daddy um, <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy VII remake two colon daddy likey. <laughs> Seventy dollars. <laughs> you got it. Well, what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh hell. Daddy Likey One was sixty, <laughs> and that's officially what you'd like on your tombstone is the phrase "Daddy Likey One was 60. Oh, Daddy Likey Two Seventy. <laughs> Blowing this so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Grant? There's a timer and you're strutting here's, around. I'm supposed to deactivate mines that I can't freaking see. Deactivated it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Wait, you deactivated? Hang on, hang on. Serious question. Yeah. <laughs> Serious gamer boy question here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many, how many uh, remake renditions <laughs> are there going to be? Like how many episodes? Renditions. I think there's going to be four. I agree. Okay. Four. You think it's going to be four, not three? I think it's going to be four. Why? Uh, it, it it feels like five is going to be. I feel like five is right out, and I also feel like three. Like given that, just like. Episode one is just Midgar. It feels like a lot to put into two more episodes. I feel like four is just going to be the right, if you're, right if call. If you're going that many iterations, what console are you going to be on at that point in time? Honestly. Have you heard about the PlayStation 9? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a sphere on a highway. <laughs> um, but okay, I mean, this is... This is the thing, right? Like, let's let's try and map it out. I think they, I think they're so in love with Zach. Well, hang on, now I'm stuck. Well, I think okay. Here's what here's uh, here's what part two is. Yeah. And cut this clip out and send it to me in the year 2032 when it comes out. But I think I'll be dead. part two is 100%. is that z <laughs> yeah we'll all have killed ourselves from trying to finish Dirge of Servers by then. It's just a 40 hour game. I don't know. Welcome to the <laughs> Um No, but here's the thing. It's like the title screen. <laughs> Welcome to Dirge. You think you can handle the Dirge? Or did you see what we made? What are you dirging? 
Oh, we're dirt in the dirt. <laughs> okay. Um, here's 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 my vision. Yeah. Right. Get the whiteboard out. Hang on, Ben, 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 Ben. ben I'm ben. serious about Dang this. No, 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 no. One, one question. One question. Uh, I think I know where you're going with no, this. No, you don't. Hang on. Well, you're okay. gonna crap your pants when you hear how brilliant this is. Well, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> what what about uh, where where do you think episode two is gonna end? Yeah, that's what I'm saying right now. Yeah, no, I know. I'm saying sit down before you fall down. <laughs> I'm not going to sit down. <laughs> okay. Episode two, cold open, clouds passed. Right. Mm -hmm. Which I love. I right? love that idea. Yep. Yes. Yep. Part two, Dark. close. Uh, there's the very obvious climactic end of disc one, which is a take that's I, probably the safe bet. But what if, though, I think cold I go, open. I go past that. Okay, but hang on. Cold open. I couldn't, though. Here it is. Yeah. Hey guys, stop. Here's the brilliant part. No. Ready? Yeah, but you couldn't go past that. No, but seriously. You could it, not. Li listen, you though. Listen. Can't. Listen. Okay. Yeah. I think they move that. Oh, that's smart. Move that. Oh, that would be and so I think it, smart. Part one, cold open, clouds passed. Yeah. I'm sorry. Part two, cold open, clouds passed. Yep. Close with clouds past part two. Oh, like you know what I mean? Stuff. Like yeah. it's the full oh. bookend of like let's. This episode is all about cloud. So it would be like that moment where, where, where like Tifa's like, "Here we go." Yeah, like, it would be like actually like, like yeah. I yeah, think like, I think that's the that's the fun twist, and you go back and replay that because it makes sense. But that would be the like the game, opening, right? like. And then, then it's would called, you like, open episode three like in like the subconscious area? That'd be interesting. It would be interesting. I, I would. It would feel weird to do that. It would be. Yeah. You know. It would be fun. Because they're fleshing out the Midgard thing, they they don't necessarily have to do that with other portions. They could keep the pace. They could keep the pace up in parts two and three and just finish it in in a it's three possible. part thing. I think yeah, it's possible. That Re seems to me like reception's gonna have a that has to play into it too, right? So so if we, if it's two and three. Yeah. If it's just if it's just two more episodes, what like what would they cut? And you can't say Fort Condor. I think well like <laughs> Do you think they did like focus tests of like okay all right thanks for assembling here today everybody we're here to talk about Final Fantasy 7 we're here just curious what do you like about Final Fantasy 7 what words come to mind what parts do you recall I hate every second of thinking about that No but do you think they did the and it's like it's like I remember the end of disc 1 Okay, great, great. Okay, <laughs> write that down, Katase. End of this one. End of this one. Does anybody right. else remember anything from Seven? Midgar. Oh, great. Well, let's here. expand it into a whole game. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. So there should be a safe in this room back here. Look at this. Oh my God. What? I think it was at the end of the hallway. Yeah, end of the hallway. Is it? End of the hallway. Now, what is that? Is that? What is that, that point? That's, that's like that's HP gaining stuff, isn't it? Uh, I think it gives me MP back. Oh, okay. Which I haven't been using. <laughs> We've noticed. <laughs> Shut up. Um, I, I oh, just... So I was just saying, and then, and anyways, the point was then Fort Condor was in the session that was like fifth down the line or something. But I think, it, I don't it, know, it, did you listen to Easy Allies last you, week? Don't you need the Fort I did not. Condor not, not yet. Not yet. Well, so in... Did they talk about Final Fantasy VII? They talked about Final Fantasy VII, I think, I think it was them. And they talked about, they were debating like whether there's going to be a world map. And I think, like, I obviously think that would be awesome. Game. I just think there's no way. And like, the temptation nobody's is... done that since the PlayStation Two era. I feel like, like, it's just, yeah, it's 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 like a a, a dead way of of traveling between towns. I'm sure it was a design feature back in back in that time that made sense too. Oh, right? It was super fun. Yeah, it was super fun. But I think they're just gonna trim out so many towns, and it's just gonna be literally like, okay, we'll have like a rural area for you to get from area Hold on. Location, right, but like make a path. What do you yeah. do? What yeah. do you do with the it's highway? Like Exactly, and yeah. I remember, I, like, I remember. I mean, one of the greatest things about the PlayStation era, and probably like SNES era too, uh, is that you, you, you'd get the the moment of the airship, that was lost yeah. on Final Fantasy X and up. Like they they just stopped doing that, and and then it went to like, like Sid was piloting a, a, a big old ship, and it'd be like, hey, where do you want to go to? And then it would be a selection list, and you're like, ah. Boo! Boo! Like, that sucked. Yeah. yeah. Flying um, around, it's the... It was the greatest. It was wonderful. It's the discovery part of it, too. It's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's true. That was lost completely. Yeah. But if they're gonna... I mean, they have the, the chops with 15 to do flying in an 
open-ish world, right? Open world yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And yeah, so then at did. that point, it's like, they need some hook for part two and part three. Are they bold enough to save that for, let's say part three is a finale of saying, no. part three is going to be the open world Promising Seven. Because part two, if you just do Can clouds you imagine? past, can you imagine that? that that's I think amazing. That's, I think that's very real that they would do oh, that. Oh, I don't think so. I just think it's going to be like a compact take on it. I, I think that would be disappointing if they did. Like, like it, that feels like, a, if we're going to do justice to the entire world, like, we have to go all out on that. Like, or don't touch it. Like, just stick with the story and, and tell a great story. But if you really want to go for the entire world do it justice i don't think i don't think it's gonna be the entire world i think it's gonna be like a weird remix version but i could see them doing I, maybe i'm thinking of this because i'm thinking of like lightning returns right of like okay we need some hook for the second and the third game in the 13 series right which so i know I, nothing about i think it's like hey lightning at uh, 13 2 is going to be more open world or is it 13 3 that's open world help me out in the chat 13 3 yeah oh boy wow yeah. There's 13-2 and then Lightning Returns. You never played 13 3? But I'm saying they need to save those. Like, they're going to expand their nostalgia wad <laughs> on the first part of the remake. And, like, what do they do for part two and three to bring people in? I think one of those has to be open world. Maybe. I, I, I think that if this game is strong enough, um, the talk around it, just by the people that love the first one and that just joined in for the remake um they're not gonna have any problems like like having a hook because this i mean the remake's gonna sell like a zillion copies i think i think it will yeah, yeah. i mean based on the demo that we just played my gosh that, i mean it was just it was so good yeah um love, it. love it all here's a terrible question for you dave because yeah. i love dragon quest 11 but somebody in the chat yeah. brought up like oh they'll do the overworld like it's an open world like dragon quest 11 I'm trying to remember. I mean, there's not like a world map in 11. It's just kind of like region, connecting region to region, right? Right, which is what Grant was just saying, yeah. like like that it's, yeah. And I, I would be totally fine with. Like, if they wanted to just, like, string, you know, calm to... Oh, what else is on that continent? What's after calm? Mm. Let's see. Let's, I always get confused like about what's cave. on what camp. Continent. Yeah, well, there's the cave, it's, it's Condor, like cave. and then Junin. Oh, yeah, and then you go to, yeah, you go through yeah. the cave, then you go to Condor, then Junin. Yeah. I'm familiar with Jonan, but I hear it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the continents, yeah, you got it. So, yeah, and, and that would be, I, like, I'd be totally fine with that. Like, if they just had, like, a, you know, an adventure zone between those two places. And then, this, wonderful. And then the third game is adventure zone between the other places? Yeah, sure, Like the second yeah. continent? So yeah, saying? you might be thinking about this, like, just more astutely than I am. I don't, I don't think it's, it's astute. It's just guesses. So well, then the second con so the second continent and the third game then would be uh, like Rocket Town. Well, the third episode Cosmo just has Canyon. to be completely only Bone Village. Nibelheim? Like it just, like that's yep. it. Yeah. Well, Nibelheim you'll cover in the second game no matter like what. The right? Metropolis in a weird way. Bone Village that has a booming um, entertainment. Is there economy. some sort of video game on the screen? <laughs> I've, been, this? I've been playing this whole time. That's what I love about this. <laughs> <laughs> Like Grant is actually making meaningful progress. Like as he's <laughs> as he's engaging in a discussion yeah. and doing this, and as I was replaying through the Shinra Mansion, right, uh, right, a yeah. scene that we all all know. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed the safe wasn't there, but you know. Yeah, you guys really lost focus with the safe <laughs> <laughs> wasn't there. <laughs> oh, hang on, is. It Effing real. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> where my mind went. <laughs> 13, I'm sorry. Yeah, 13 2 so was open world ish. Thank you. Pretty sure I bought that game. Wow. It's a time travel I, one, right? I don't think I played it though. I actually enjoyed 13 quite a bit. I don't know. Prove it. To be honest, I, I finished it. I'm like the 1%. <laughs> that's what Bernie what? hates. Or the one. <laughs> but this is what Vice designed. Vice. I no longer have the console that I beat it on, though, so I can't Vice. prove anything. Sorry. In Vice is the blue guy in the soup? We do. It is very yeah. Oh, now you're paying attention? Grant, I've never if looked away from the screen. The <laughs> of Omega, then that is what all of Deep Ground desires. 
So Deep Ground is an organization that supports oh Vice's crusade to reawaken Omega, despite what WRO says. <laughs> yeah, but but WRO is pretty contentious about that. And That's right. They just had a recent re-election. Uh, She's so much less compelling than that little girl with the lightsaber proton pack. Yeah. Like, right. She's just not intimidating at all. Right, that, that's true. But she's also not Kaori from SSX, so that's... The model woman. You mean the inferior snowboarding game to 2002's X Games Winter Olympics? Right. You can go after yourself. All right. All right. Um, you know, back to your point of, like, the, uh, the remake... The remake train kind hang of on, thing? Hang on, I'm sorry. I, I feel like sure. I, I just want to, during the cutscenes, I just want to try and focus, but I know I'm doing a bad job of it myself. All right. So, Dave, um, <laughs> I saw a quote that they, somebody from the Square Enix team that's doing the remaster mm -hmm. made it sound like they he said they'd be missing an opportunity to not revisit Parasite Eve, too. Every, I, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. I everybody's really favorite well, game from <laughs> Square Enix. All right, I do have something to say about that in a second. All right. You understand, right? This yeah, is, Vincent, baby! That's the Vincent that I know. This is all I understand. <laughs> Shoot him all like God, sort him out, Vincent! Jesus. She did the vampire jump. <laughs> oh, oh hell! <laughs> this is not. And he, the, and he runs away. This is not the, the mansion I remember. This is the mansion I remember. Uh, Ruger Singh says you're shortening your life if you focus on these cutscenes. I feel, look, that's what we're doing this morning. We got. Um, so Grant, that we got to have some semblance of understanding of this game. Yes. Uh, but Grant, uh, yes, so that was from an interview that Katase did with Kenny Omega. Did you watch it? No, I just saw the snippet. Hang on. Yeah. Sorry, who's Katase? Katase is the director of Seven, now he's the producer. Uh, he wow, also, I, I, I mean, should know he directed that. Eight, directed Ten. Uh, oh, he did? Yeah. Okay, so, wait, okay, hang on. So Katase is the guy that uh, directed Seven, Eight, and Ten? Yes. Weird. Okay, it's literally what you just said. Why this? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pausing because Sakaguchi directed over nine? Six, I believe. but Because Nine was... Um, Made in Hawaii, so he didn't direct that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. So, so Square has uh, has an office in Hawaii. So I know this because I visited Square for the Thomas 15 trip. Yeah, I love this pack. So it's I like to brag about Sky. it. <laughs> um, but uh, so nine was because the they developed industry. a new studio in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, and that's where they developed Final Fantasy Spirits Within. And then oh, in that I same I building, I remember you you telling me about this. Or, yeah. Or, like, in talking about this. in that same place, that's where they developed nine. Then. Okay. So, so like talking to a lot of the people that worked on seven and stuff while at Square, they talked about like how different the nine team was from everybody else. Like just right. culturally, it was just such a such a different vibe because they're all just like the way that it was described to me by a uh, literally a very important per person on the Final Fantasy Seven development team. He's like the Final Fantasy Nine team. They uh they just walked a little bit slower. <laughs> was the way that it was translated to me. It was sure. Like, what is that? That's very interesting because it's, like, it's just like do you also think that it's like a, like a cultural differences in terms of I think it was just like they're in a new studio in Hawaii they're in paradise like they're a little more right. chill whereas sure. like in Tokyo it's like yeah. let's like, go well, yeah. we Why, gotta right. crank out Final Fantasy 8 in two years yeah. right. Why finish this now and we could just chill yeah, yeah. but they still got it out it's in nice 99 outside. like they did it yeah, yeah. and it was a, a, a great game yeah hell yeah that I uh, I just recently uh, played that for the first time um, like two years ago Mm. Um, yeah, and had a absolute blast. Like it, it, it's a very solid game. I'm amazed. It's like I loved it. I finished it back in the day, but then you were like for so long, like I should finish nine. And I'm amazed you yeah. actually sat down and, and did it. I remember yeah. you texting me in tears, asking where to go next. <laughs> well, that's every game that we play. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> the tears really came through in the text. I could where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I. Um, yeah, seven, eight, nine, kind of have this just very fun, special, distinct feel that I, I think I think nine was 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 great to play like two years ago because it's just like man, this just really reminds me of seven and eight. And what do you think about the art? Because Mark McDonald in eight four, which I love, eight four play podcast, he yeah. just bashes the art in nine. But I love how freaky oh, and weird it is. Like, I, I would I, honestly I would bash the art in eight more than I would with wow really with, 
before I would not. It's just less but interesting. What, but we, <laughs> what are we doing here? Grant, Grant, I'm not going to give you eye contact right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, with eight, like I feel like they're just like, we're going to make this as realistic as, as we possibly can with 32 bits of graphics, everybody. And it, it, it came off as, as pretty, um, well, a little bit clunky. Um, but it was awesome looking back then. I still think it's Yeah, no, I, Ben, I cool remember way. the first time that I showed you Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, no. And I was yeah, walking down the hall with Quistus, and <laughs> Squall's model just started, like, like janking out. <laughs> and you found that endlessly entertaining, because for whatever reason, you're just like, I don't want to play Final Fantasy VIII. Because I was a snob, because I liked Seven so much. Right, yeah, yeah. and I didn't. Um, <laughs> and it, but it's true. I mean, like, like the game looked pretty rough around the edges, um, based on the models that they were they were trying to use. And well, like the like classic I, I meme, think... you're the best looking guy here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, great point. So I'm see, I'm not original. <laughs> I might be looking through rose tinted glasses here. Yeah. But for that being a PS1 game and this being a PS2 game, um. I think Final Fantasy VIII looks just fine. It does. No, I, I'm not saying that it, it looks bad. I, it's I'm no just saying, dirge. It ain't no dirge. <laughs> we, we know that, but like, I, I would say, um, like, I, given art styles, I would I would rather look at nine than I would eight. Yeah. Uh, Reigns B Man says, "Hey, why are you showing spoilers for the Black Widow movie?" It's very funny. I know you're not a Marvel guy, Ronnie, but that's very funny. Um, no, I get it. Vostok says, hey, I'm thrilled to death about the Fantasy VII celebration. Hell yeah. This is... Hey. Oh, I'm, I'm super excited hey, for Vostok, all this. Hey, Vostok, you're in one. This is... You're in one. If you couldn't tell from the two hours of raving about Final Fantasy VII, that's, all, that's what we're doing here, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah. These, the, I, I'm very excited to, to do all of this, honestly, because I love Final Fantasy VII. Well, how are you feeling about the remake of Midgar, which we're going to do from the original game? Super excited to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just scared. Will I remember the um, oh, barrel yeah. progression uh, in, when Ares is oh, trying right. to escape? To I can never remember that. It is pretty tricky. I'm scared about the making the jump um, onto the swinging <laughs> weird thing to climb I'm up to the, sh to the... You should be. Yeah. I, I'm scared about making um, inappropriate Don Corneo jokes, <laughs> honestly. Hey, Dave. Shut your mic off. Since Ben is watching this cutscene. Right. Um, turns out Amy is awake. Oh, she is. Okay, and good. she's uh, two fates away from beating uh, Oberdin. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I love we it. We spent so much time. Turns out his Well, wife. she's she's clearly smarter than Both all of us combined. Yeah. Yes. And I, and I buy it for her on Switch, and then she just yeah. cruises Well, good, through. good. I mean, there's, there's, she's, she's playing that game like... That is a tough game. I mean, just with us three playing, it was, oh, God. It's really fun, though. It is. It's a lot of fun. I, I do like the um, the art design. Mm -hmm. well, there will be no need for it when I'm done with you. Uh, the music on the ship is just awesome, too. Yeah. Ooh, hang on. Look what we got here, ladies Yuffie. and gentlemen. We got a Kisarugi on our hands here. Hell yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. Woo! Is that how you pronounce your last name? Kis Kisaragi? Kisarugi? Kis you got it. A B positive, baby. Oh, Wanna yeah. kiss her? Hey. <laughs> She's 16 years old. Wu Tai Flee? Jeez. Why does everyone hate the Wu Tai in this world so much? Sage. Um I know why. Could they steal your material? <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really though? Uh, <laughs> That's why she's so mad. It's in the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> Got her proto materia out of order. <laughs> Make sure you don't survive the next one. She's basically just the villain from uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. Just Russian nonsense, right? You know what? I recently watched all of the Indiana Jones movies in succession. Don't say yeah. that. I didn't hate it. Oh, no. I haven't watched it since the theaters. Yeah, the initial letdown. Once that's all gone, you, you can down. go back and watch an, an honestly fun movie. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. No bullshit. All right. I remember I went to it in the theaters with my mom because we're both four. big Indiana Jan Jones fans. <laughs> and I remember there was a moment where they said, uh, it was the knowledge thereafter the whole time. And my mom... Hey, that's I, a very good Harrison thank Ford. You, yeah. Thank you. My mom and I literally looked at each other and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's, it was a good great. bonding uh, moment. Yeah, yeah that is. That's, it's like, it's like, yeah. Your I'm mom is sensible. I agree. Yeah. 
Grant, what like, do you want from us? I'd like to point out, Magic casted. I SB. did. You know what? You know what? You know what? I did <laughs> notice you just casting those firebolts over and over and over again. I I did appreciate that. I and think you kept you. yelling firebolt, firebolt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damage sustained though. Look at that. So Ben, do you actually know how long this game is? I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Curious. Uh, I think we can do it. Uh, Grant, feeling good for the night? Yeah, I think so. All right, feels like a good spot. That's a pretty good spot. Pretty good place to stop. Is it saved? How are you feeling about this? You understand the save system much better than we do. Mm. Does it save after it calculates points, or is that before? Typically? I'm gonna say after. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll wait till I see a save icon then quit. And the save icon. In the upper right corner. I mean, what do you think about playing it so far, Grant? Honestly, I'm kind of I don't I don't know if I'm just enjoying my time hanging out with you guys here mm. or if it's the or if it's the game itself it's, you know it's probably the game you think so probably the game yeah <laughs> we barely know each other it's largely the game it's true I mean have you seen the save point do you feel safe shutting it off I don't I mean it's got I don't feel safe shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut I'll up wait until I'm back in control yeah Why are you so Vinny. Surprised? We know what Hojo's face looks like. I don't know. Using your own child. You're the one that said we've been doing experiments. Ha! I don't know what you're implying, but both of us are scientists. We know what we are doing. That voice is terrible for Hojo. You are the last person. What do you think it's going to sound like in the remake? Better than that. They're going to get this guy. Well, he's gone. Boy. But I'm so handsome. That's that's one thing I've a never voice. thought of. I did not give Hojo like a voice in my head of any he sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say it. He's German. Do you? No. Uh, you? Okay. Yeah. Are Which sure? island was that on the map you, really you were looking at? Am I sure? <laughs> Near Wu Tai. Am right. I sure? <laughs> if this only concerns me, then yes, I am sure. Oh. I. <laughs> His dramatic pauses. Just Unbelievable. Just, yeah. All I did was watch. What? I didn't even try to stop. Narration for the first time? And then. And what? Okay. <laughs> Tape, please. <laughs> No good. <laughs> Shut it down. Oh. Shut it down. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is great. There we go. Who needs a remake? This is my remake. That is a fun scene. Yeah. So when the womb Sephiroth knows at some that day. That was my sin. Oh. Mm. And this. This is the end of the game, right? Mm. This my punishment. I thought he was going to say redemption. Honestly, if the writers thought about that, they probably would have used that word. He's turning into Kate, so... <laughs> oh. Owie, owie, owie! <laughs> <laughs> Huh. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> like we're supposed seemed, to change there's this. A, there's, a, there's a lot going on. Yeah. What were they arguing about? They were arguing about whether to test on the kid? Using your own child as an experiment. And it seemed like Hojo was against it? Shouldn't um, he be for it? Doesn't sound yeah. like the Hojo I know. Yeah. That's not the Hojo I know. I I saw you again. <laughs> it was the place. Place we first met, but you were. No. Do you think they I called David Hater to, to do this? <laughs> <laughs> he had to give Stop. approval for this tone of voice. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> did you say that again, please? <laughs> Lucrezia. 
This camera work is wild in this game. I like it. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, there it is. Oh, that's sweet ass. Sabine. Just pause right here. Whew. All right. I mean, we saw the saving, right? Is anybody yep, in doubt no, that yeah. we're safe here? Should be okay. Did yeah. you skip? What? Grand. <laughs> we could be anywhere. Right. right. Just saying, maybe someday we'll get to go to the mansion. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Oh my so god. All right, this, great. Spaz, this, this, this is spoiler for the next time. All right, everybody. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, Squiddle Willow, Dr. Big, Raisin Bee Man, Vostok, Dan from Umbrella has been sticking with us the whole time. Rylock R, Ruger Singh, Shreeb, Frank Forte. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have uh, Charles, developer of Hyperdot, in there. Everybody, thank you for sticking with us. We appreciate it. Fun stream, boys, says Shreeb. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. We're doing it for you, Shreeb. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this My is gosh. Celebration Prophecy 7, damn it. Uh, so we have a lot more of this game to get through. <laughs> and we're gonna I'm not going to look this up, either. <laughs> <laughs> just... Please don't. Uh, just, you'll be delighted when you eventually hit the finale. I'm going to be delighted. <laughs> yeah. I think Grant's going to be delighted. <laughs> uh, I think realistically, the next thing that will be happening is we'll be releasing the commentary track for Final Fantasy 7 Advent Children, which is a movie I haven't seen in 14 years. I mean, honestly, when did that come out? 2006. Oh, yeah, 14 years. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be wild. Um, and so that's going to be a Patreon exclusive, so you support us. Support us at patreon.com slash minmax 2 ends. Then you get access to that uh, audio feed, and you can listen to it like a podcast, watching the movie or not. I think there'll be enough Final Fantasy VII talk to cover all bases. But, Grant, any conclusions after all that time playing Dirge? Um, depending upon how long this game is... <laughs> So far, I'm on board. Oh, great! Yeah, there yeah. we go. Look at that. There we yeah. go. Do you want us to... Um, do you, are you more invested in the story than we think? Do you want us to shut up during the scenes, or are we doing fine? No, no I'm, I'm fine. Okay, by, by all means, talk over any part of it. I'm cool with it. Fantastic. Great. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on the journey to play Dirge of Cerberus. Uh, Ronnie, classic closing statements. Get in and get out. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. Bye.